you get a doula? What's a doula? A doula is somebody that comes in and teaches you all the things you need to know for the birth when you're there. No, we got no doula. You should no. get a doula. Come in and... <coughs> Maybe I'll get a doula. Have her come in and just tell you... Paula Abdullah. Hello, folks. <laughs> so, so when you, that happens, you know what to do. The water breaks, dude. You got to go to the hospital. Yeah, you get a little... All hell break, dude, all, dude, all hell breaks loose. And so the doula does what? Can't you tell me what the doula said? Well, save me a few, a few doulas. I've, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. Just picking up your kid from school on time, that's hard. Don't make your afternoons even harder with a trip to the grocery store. HelloFresh sends pre-portioned ingredients and delicious season recipes right to your door. So you can skip the shopping and get right to cooking. Picky eaters in your house? No problem. HelloFresh menus include 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week. With vegetarian, family-friendly, and fit wholesome options to choose from. With vegetarian, family-friendly, and fit and wholesome options to choose from. HelloFresh has you covered no matter what you like to eat. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50YKWD. And use code 50YKWD for you know what, dude. For 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50YKWD. And use code 50YKWD for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. The life of a stand-up comedian is crazy. You're going nonstop. You're staying up until dawn. You're dreaming about comedy. And then you wake up thinking about comedy. But running yourself into the ground will never work. It doesn't. You need to make sure you're getting a good night's sleep when you can. And that goes for anybody, not just comics. That's where Ghost Bed can help. Ghost Bed mattresses are designed with a premium materials and patented cooling features so you sleep better cooler and more comfortable from the moment your fat head hits the pillow. So take advantage of free shipping, 101 night mattress sleep trial and financing starting at 35 bucks a month. Most orders ship within 24 hours. So you can start sleeping better this week. Listeners get 40% off all products site wide. You get 40% off a mattress, adjustable base and bedding accessories or 50% off when you bundle a mattress with an adjustable base. Use promo code YKWD at ghostbed.com slash YKWD for 40% off site-wide. Limited time only. This show is sponsored by ShipStation. I mean, we live in this automated world, you know, but some things still require some uh, tedious manual work. I'm telling you right now, ShipStation is the best. ShipStation makes it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. Get 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. And 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use promo code YKWD and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code YKWD. Yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude, live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKWD. I started the social media podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKWD podcast. YKWD's back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started before them all. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the ball man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. We're live.
Dave? Is it? Of course. Okay. Oh, Shut up, everybody. Shutting up. I uh, No, we're live. YKWD back again. I got another bopping episode. I got two comics who are, uh, I mean, top 17 on my list. Top 17. I'm kidding. Top five. Means one of us is 17th. Five. Yeah. Oh, I'm kidding. It was a joke. Uh, tell us who we got, Maxo Million. Today we got uh, Joe List. Yay. And we got uh, Adam Ferrara. Yay. Two of the uh, funniest motherfuckers ever. Two of the greatest joke writers ever. And performers of the jokes. I mean, the, both of you guys have the um, skill and art of comedy. I, I envy it. How precise. You? I just saw you murder downstairs. Yeah, but I'm, listen, I, my, the way I, I kind of fuck around, free flow. You guys write jokes no. and you perform them amazingly. Well, you're very Like every fucking time. I mean, I really mean that. I, I, I'm not saying that to kiss your ass. You got a brand new special out. It's on yeah. YouTube. Enough mm -hmm. for and everybody. It, and it's killing. It's doing well. Half a million views. That's that nuts. seems pretty good. That's, That's great. Good. I don't know why That's I said that like Bob Dylan. Half a million views. <laughs> Three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I, it is weird to see you in that chair because lo you look like Lily Tomlin. You told me to stop bringing up the chair. I don't like the chair. I'm higher than you guys. I'm in the yeah. middle, and I feel like I should host. I have some good topics. Right, go ahead, you host. Go ahead, yeah. Well, How do you guys? Do you guys? Are you guys friends with Orny Adams? Do you know Orny? Did I you just start had, with Orny. I just had Orny on my podcast. And because I, I watched comedian, I didn't know him. I was does a new. Not mean comic. you're friends with him. I, I'd like to think I'm friends with him. I, are I, you I, friends with Orny? I don't see him as much as I like to. I hug him every time I see him. I have a great affection for him. Do you have more? on holidays no do you text him on holidays holidays no we're men do you say happy birthday when it's his birthday when i remember what's his birthday i don't remember you're not you're not friends okay. you're acquaintances okay well listen do you consider me and you friends yep okay i text you never hear back whoa that's a friend Man, that's, that's a comic friend. That's a friend i love you i that's love it. you too that's it i love and then you we too. see each other and everything's gone I <laughs> everything's over okay all right because yeah, when it, I, can I you can I just say something about the texting thing? Here we go. He hates about, texting. I was just on a podcast. We were talking about you hating texting. Mm -hmm. Texting, call me. I call you too. You don't call back. Yeah, I don't like you. See, <laughs> you're right. No, I love you. I love you. It's too. not that. It's that I'm. Not, this whole phone thing has got me down, dude. You think by now you'd adjust to it? It's been around a while. You sound like I Charles like Grodin in Midnight Run. <laughs> These things go down. <laughs> <laughs> I like payphone days. Yes, I like chorizo. I, chorizo and eggs. I'll have the cigarettes. You have the chorizo. Oh, can we not do this fucking I know shit about movies thing with you two Coffee and savants? Okay. Uh, I'll jerk each other off. I know this one. Want to do Godfather shit? Go ahead. Do it. I'll be over there. <laughs> somebody just, Luis Gomez, uh, tweeted out, what do you want to hear about on the regs? And somebody wrote, why does Joe List always talk about the Godfather? Dude, can we? Because it's fucking good. Listen, I just said, somebody, somebody sent something out mm. to me on Twitter. They're yeah. trashing me. So I, tra I, tra I, I trashed them back, but funny, like I was like, hey, go fuck yourself, love you, love right. you more, or some shit. Like, whatever, it was bonfire. Just joking back, fucking with you back. Got it. Yeah. Somebody wrote back, oh, there's nothing I hate worse than a sensitive comedian. I can't, you can't, win. I'm no. joking back. You're sensitive. Mm -hmm. You right. can't, you can't, See? there's this no. This explains the phone. But mm. this is why he doesn't like communication. I'm right here. You don't have to talk to him. What are you, my wife? I'm sorry. I mean, my mother and my wife do that. This is why he... Yeah. I'm right here. I know. You make me fucking <laughs> gin out. But you think you think texting is gay. But I, I think I don't texting think, is manly. I don't think texting's gay. Yes, you do. What about emojis? I think... You think it's I'm fine with all that shit. Okay. But if you got to talk to me, mm -hmm. call me, and if I don't call you back... Leave me a violent message like Billy Burr, like you're a fucking piece of shit, mm -hmm. and then I'll call you back. No, you won't. I've done that. All right, listen. I have a. I am barely hanging on. <laughs> you guys both don't have a ten year old, okay? You both don't have kids. You're gonna have one shortly. <laughs> right. You don't have one. No. It's a different. You wake up. What right. time do you wake up in the morning? Uh, I'm usually seven. Up seven. Seven. Oh, me too. Both wake up at the same okay. time. <laughs> I wake up around eight thirty. Yeah, I wake up and I got hey breakfast. Make sure you do that. We got to right. go here. Let's go. Get it on. Listen to your mother. Come on. Don't. Mm -hmm. I'm telling. Let's go. We got to wrap. Okay. I love it. Let's. Hey, okay. Be good. Make sure you do this. I'll see you. Oh. Now, right. let me ask you this. What? And you're not going to like this. I want you to answer honestly. I'm not. And I'll know if you're I lying. Know. I don't like it. And don't lie or I'll know. What, what movie is that? Silence of the Limbs. Um, great line. You look very handsome. You should turn around and shoot Bobby because he's got a little shade and a little light over here. No, not from that angle. From no. this angle. 
Any jizz. If you call someone, I want you to answer honestly, because you're saying, well, I have a seven-year-old. We don't know what it's like. Yeah. If you call, let's say, uh, who's got a kid? Louis J. Gomez. Yeah. And you leave a voicemail. You don't hear back from him for two days. Are you going, ah, oh, that's all right. He's got a kid. I don't. I, I'll tell you what anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest Nailed with you. I'm gonna say, no, you didn't. Now at the stage of my life I'm at, if yeah. I call and you don't call me back, I don't care. Okay. I don't have the bandwidth anymore. I mean, dude, like even like a text message. What happens where I get fucked in text messages, so you'll text me. Yeah. I'll be like driving the kid to school, whatever. Something, you text message me. I'll be like, oh, shit, I got to okay. And then you'll text me. And then somebody else, and all of a sudden it, it goes push, down on the line. Push down, right. push down, push down, push down. Then I'll reply to the last one. My wife. I'll be there in a couple. And then she'll reply back. Now this whole thing, somebody else comes in. And then I'll be, okay, I get home. It just, and then all of a sudden you're like, I don't, I don't. I would have to do this mm-hmm. to get back to that. Yeah. To go like this. And some I forget everything. I now. forget everything. And I te- I send the wrong text to the wrong people. I texted oh. Leary, love you, monkey. So, you know. <laughs> Who was that supposed to go to? My e- wife. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing? I liked it. All right. <laughs> um. um how we all um <laughs> <He's> so, <laughs> boy. Don't worry, we'll Bleak clip this. That space. On the YouTube-y. Yeah. Um so I apologize, but I am mm-hmm. terrible. Dude, I had I have people text me and they're like, hey man, how you doing? And I don't know who it is. Yeah. Like somebody has my nut, but they, like, it, it's it's hard for me. Well, that's to, another thing. Am I labeled in your phone? Is Joe labeled? A hundred percent. Okay. Yes. All right. You're in my phone. So so you're ignoring me on purpose? No, right. I don't. But I was also up country. Up country too. Put another because I'm up there. I don't. My phone doesn't get service, right? Mm-hmm. So then I get back to the house where we have internet and the phone. All of a sudden, I got fucking yeah, yeah. ten phone calls, nine texts, mm-hmm. and I'm like, "Oh fuck, I'm supposed to not be using this stupid thing." Mm-hmm. Well, this is something I'm worried about with having a kid because uh, you know me pretty well. When I go away, I go to hang out with Derek and his kids or my family. I'm out. I'm like off the grid. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. respond to anybody I know you about don't. anything. Yeah, and uh, I just I don't work. I don't do Twitter. I don't do Instagram. I'm just in that mode. So what's scary to me is having a kid. I'm always going to be in that family mode, and I'll never respond to anybody again. What do you say to that? Um, no, because as soon as your wife starts talking, yeah, yeah. and you, 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 I love it. I really do. But you get out of it. You know what I mean? You're, you get used to it. You get, you get, yeah, you get a little used to it. Um, what's the word? I guess, I guess it's gay, anal, uh, farts, no, nope. jizz, blacks, yeah. Jews, keep going, keep going, keep going. fire, farts, keep going, coffee, keep going, keep going. phone. Keep going. Go go, 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 go. Midnight more, Run, The Godfather. Nope. <laughs> Charles Grodin. You're going to suffer from fistophobia? That's Francis it. Francis Ford. That's it. That was it. That's it. Um, <laughs> Sometimes you got to get yourself a new watch. Mm. Um, I can't. I Great it. film. Can I be honest? You don't like the movie? <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't like... Um, Me? I, I don't like yes, Joe. that's true. I, 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 I respect it at a moment, but people who do it too much... Who do quotes mm. yeah. and stats. Well, we're having a nice time over here. Yeah. I know, but there's nothing worse than two people who do quotes and stats okay. and movie stuff. Because then you guys just jerk each other off of what you know. And I don't... No, I that's how you're taking What if we pick no, the movie? Can I, tell you, can I be honest? It's, it's because I don't retain stuff. Right. So I don't have that ability. Yes. Please, come on. You don't carry a grudge? I carry a grudge. There you go. But I don't retain Why? movie scenes. Oh, all right. Or actors... <laughs> Or things that are said. I don't right. songs. I don't. I don't. I listen to a song. I don't know who it is mm-hmm. or what the words are until it turns on, and then I can sing it. Okay. You know what I mean? I understand. Uh, movie things. I don't remember shit. I've seen Godfather a million times. I don't remember any of that shit. Mm-hmm. I don't. I remember Sonny going. Uh, 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 uh. Nobody gets shit. Maybe Stop. I'm an act out guy. Maybe I remember it- act outs. Okay. <laughs> this is right. T- what part of the Godfather is this? I'm not sure. Michael? Is he saying anything? The cat? Is that the cat? Is that, is that Michael at the end when he kisses the yeah, ring? I'm good at this part. Yeah. Oh, I'm good, I see. I'm good at acting. Michael outs. at the end. I'm an act out uh, guy. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. yeah. Not as fun. I didn't get it. standing get, in that part, though. I didn't get it that you little, did this. I didn't get it yeah. with the ring out. Right. Yeah, I didn't really. Before, I just thought you I had fucked that up, too. I'm not good at this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways. The Godfather. Uh, okay. Yes. I, I never, my wife never saw The Godfather. Yeah. And it was playing at the Arrow Theater in, in um, uh, by my house uh, out in L.A. 
We, I saw it on a, I've never saw it on a big screen. Me either. I still haven't. Go see it on a big screen. I got to. It's fucking amazing. Bobby, yeah. go see it. You won't remember a thing. You'll love it. Go. The reason I brought up Orny is... The, God, the Godfather on the big screen? Yeah. That would be good. That came out in 72. I was, you know, that would be good. Yeah. I mean, The Godfather 1 and 2. You know what I'd like to see is all three of them together. The third one, you know. You know. New third one, Coda, is good. Didn't see it. They, they re-edited it. They gave Francis the money ah. to go back and do his edit. And he did. And he made it make more sense. It's still not the best. Right. But it, it's not all over the fucking place like okay. the first one. It's actually a lot better. It really is. Man. Coda. Cool. Good one. Okay. What are you going to say about Orny? Hate so him? when Orny... <laughs> no, because I was just you starting. Like and I, first of all, it's not, it seems like he got like kind of fucked over on that movie. I listened to him on Marin, mm -hmm. the way they kind of portrayed him. And I think he actually was joking in a lot of parts, parts that he sounds like an asshole. And um, I think that uh, he got kind of a bad rap. This movie came out a long time ago, so mm -hmm. maybe people don't remember. But at the time, you guys were in New York, I think, around... Yeah. Were, were people bitter? Like, Orny got this. Th what was the Stop. feeling in New York Orny, when Orny or got that? I, I like Orny. Me too. Okay? We're friends. I've always liked Orny. But he's not, he's a cocky dude. Right. That's not far off from him. So people who know when you saw it, like, all right, he's, he's, he's laying it a little heavy in the movie. Mm. But he does think he's the shit. He does think, you know what I mean? I right. see. I mean, look, it. when Alonzo Bowden's going to strangle you and beat the fucking life out of you, that happened? Yeah. Wow. Dude, we were on the tour. That's a scary guy to be after Alonzo you. Alonzo Bowden, don't get... One of the nicest, nicest guys, guys you'll ever meet. I mean, if... Snuff, oh, yes. I don't want to mean to sound like... I would Snuff call him nice. came to life, that's the personality he has. But I imagine Alonzo could fuck someone up. He's a big fella. He's a big boy, strong boy, and could fuck somebody up. And we did a tour together. I did the hat. Yeah, he's the best. I love Alonzo. And uh, sweetest, gentlest giant ever, but yeah. we'll fuck you up. Mm -hmm. And I did uh, the Just for Laughs yeah. across the country. I did half. And I got a call when I left from Alonzo. Yo, man, you got to talk me down. I'm going to murder this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I mean, he turned, into, wow. he turned into Ice Cube. And oh, ice, God. He's like, this motherfucker's dead. I'm going to fuck him up. I mean, dude, I'm kidding. Of course, he didn't sound like that. What? He, I had to talk him off the ledge because they got into a fucking big fight. Because... He was, uh, Orny, once he knows you, you're, right. you're on tilt, yeah. he'll go for you. He'll okay. still, he'll, you know what I mean? He's not a bad guy, but that's what he does. He'll, mm -hmm. You know, he's always kind of, you know, you're going to do that joke again tonight, the one that bombed. You know, he'll say stuff like that, you know, just joking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's mm -hmm. all jokes, you know? Um, was there a feeling of like, how did he get that? Fuck. And what? What, the movie? No. The movie? No. No. Oh, okay. No. no, no, but we knew where he got. We're all trying to get something. Right. So it was like, you know, he got that. Somebody else got this. You're going to get that. It, was a, it wasn't that. It was just Orny was like, when we saw it, we're like, yeah, that's Orny. Right, right. It wasn't too far off. Mm, interesting. Is what I'm saying. Because you're telling that he got a bad rap. I know they probably did edit a little bit to have a narrative. They did the same thing with me on Torgasm. Well, like, he I made think me the instigator when Jay was an asshole. But it seems like there's one part in the movie, and I don't want to lose everybody talking about a movie that maybe people didn't see, but my legend comedy fans did. There's one part where he says, like, I got to open my own door. But it, it feels like he was kidding. Right. But maybe he wasn't. Like, he's like, I think he was trying to be funny, but they edited it in a way where it looks like he's like this Sounds uh, like a joke. Asshole. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't sound like... You know. Yeah, it's a dirty joke. Uh -huh. sounds, like, sounds like a joke. I mean, it's a dirty joke. Right. When it comes from, like, if it came but, from but you. But we're spelling, if it did, we're spelling did. with a Q. Yeah, please. Don't put this on YouTube. Spell it with a Q. I know, why? Like Chaucer. <laughs> why? I got um, uh, my uh, half monetized, not demonetized. I got, uh, what do you call it? You got yellowed? I got a chop. I got it yellowed. You got why? yellowed? Because I said, God, I did in my special. So it's running on limited ads. So I'm losing money. Uh, By the way, a bunch of people were like, why didn't you just fucking not say that? And I'm like, oh, so you think that I knew. I would be demonetized. Also, I'm not going to change my, my act for it, but I would have muted it or whatever. People are so interesting that they just, <laughs> they just throw up shit out with no information, right. knowledge of what the fuck anything yeah. is. Yeah, you're like, yeah. I didn't know that. That's what makes yeah. it such yeah. a frustrating that, and, and it's nice to do it after it happens. Right. So to have, have no knowledge of my business, but tell me what I should do. Right. You should get a movie. That's what you should do. Star in a movie. Have you thought about SNL? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you really can't. You really can't engage it. You can't even look at it. Mm. Have you been looking at all the stuff? It's all good. 
The special? Yeah. The comments? Yeah, I've been going through and responding to the, co- the comments. are mostly great. I feel like special podcast is where the people really get mean because it's more opinions and mm-hmm. like, you're fucking wrong about this, you fat fuck, you ruin everything, you fucking piece of shit. Are you shit. reading my comments? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like, but a special for the most part, I feel, I mean, certainly there's people that are like, not funny, this sucks. But the most of them are really good, and I've been responding to them for the goddamn algorithm. Right, you. I don't know if that you respond even the bad ones. No, I don't respond. I mean, some of the bad ones I will. I'll write. That's just your opinion, which is a line from the Big Lebowski. Well, you put your thing. You want to put in your special on punch. Punchup dot live. Yes, punchup dot live. You can go there right now. That's a great site. You can get sign up for the email list, and you can buy tickets. You know about Punchup Live? This I don't know. Oh, you, you got to get, get in it. there. You, you got to get, get on it right now. Hell in right now. My special's coming out Thursday. Mm-hmm. It's Ooh. already out now on Punch. I'm t- I took it off of uh, CK site, right? And I put it up there for free because it did a year on his site. People mm-hmm. bought it. It's kind of run its course. So I'm going to give it out on there. I was going to put it on YouTube, right? But then I'm like, uh, I, I'd have to bleep the whole fuck. I'd have to bleep the whole thing with my yeah. potty mouth. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't get monetized at all. Right. I wouldn't be in the algorithm, and they get all the uh, they would get all the information, all the data on this. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I'm excited about. it. I'm glad that you went up there. I'm so happy that it ha- is it working out. Yeah, I think so. I got a bunch of emails and stuff. I mean, people are still going on YouTube also, and then uh, yeah, you I got a bunch both. of emails and stuff. Yeah, hold on, I'm putting it in. Punch uh, up live. Oh, you can't remember it? No. I mean, you're doing it live right now? I just, now it's over. Okay. <laughs> did that take too much out of you? Well, how, well, you did your special last year. Yeah. And you put it on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. I, yeah I, I, this, uh, the whole fu- industry changed. It's, it's all different. Overnight. We used to get, we, they, we used to get paid to do them. We <laughs> see the comedy set. A lot. A lot. Yeah. It's we, crazy. Don't make sense. We were getting robbed, but we were still. Yeah, but the, think of the money they gave us. What were they yeah. making? I know. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. I did a half hour special. Uh, in 2017, I got paid $100,000. Mm-hmm. I did an hour special the next year or two years later. Yeah. I spent 15000 and then mm-hmm. got fifteen back. So 100000 for an hour. Half an hour. And, uh, for half an hour. Right. And 15000 for an hour. Well, no, you broke even for an hour. Well, I, I ended up netting. You laid out 15 you I made laid 30. out 15 and I made 30 Okay. Yeah. Right. So, and then the next one, which you should, do I made a hundred thousand twice. <laughs> the next one, I made uh, less because it wasn't purchased. It's on my YouTube, so I'm yeah. slowly making less. But it's all different now. Money. We just got to we got to make stuff ourselves and hope somebody picks it up and just. Yeah, but they used to. I mean, you were part of the really great time of yeah. stand up. You you had award shows. Yeah, you would win things. Yeah. And- you, you got go prizes, to, huh? Got prizes. You got prizes. I got prizes. What prizes? What I got? Uh, I got. Uh, I got an iPhone. You got an f- iPhone for what? I got an, when it came out. We got an iPhone. Uh, what? The, it was in a gift basket. Oh no, that, no, that was our, that was our wrap gift from um, Rescue Me. But the prizes we would get um, when you did the Tonight Show, you could get a basket of shit. Oh, no, yeah. but when you did, did you won an award? Didn't yeah. You? Well, well, no, I got nominated for the comedy what was award. It? The National American Comedy Awards. What happened to that? Is that still going? I got a. a pl- I never won. I got nominated twice. I got a little plaque in it. You went thing. to the award show. Yeah. You were there, like the Oscars for comics. Yeah, for comics, it was great. My mother. I told you the story. My mother on the red carpet. I flew my parents out. I'm on the red carpet. You're doing the speech, right? It's an honor just to be nominated. My mother walks in the middle of the shot. The, the camera's here. I'm here. My mother walks in. Adam. Oh, hello. I'm going to go in because I have to pee. Your father's with me. All right. Joe, let's go. And walks. The, the camera's still on. In the middle of the fucking interview. The camera's still on. My mother walks in. My father walks in the shot. Look at all these freaking people. Just walk right through uh-huh, the camera uh-huh. and sat down. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> That's they beautiful. That <laughs> sounds annoying as shit. Yeah. I tell him I would never bring my mother anywhere again. <laughs> I mean, that's really sweet, though. Can I go? No, you can't. Why? Because you're an embarrassing fucking wretch. Stop. That's why. <laughs> Stop it. You wouldn't say that to your mother. My mother? Have yeah. you met? I love my mother. Ma, yeah. I love you. But you know, you know we get into a fight in a war. You know she, and then she, she, oh, she'd tell me how much she likes Andrew, my younger brother, better. You have a younger at, brother? At an award show? What? You have a younger brother? Yes. Do you know my younger sister? I didn't Do you know, like you know me? I didn't, I didn't know he had a, He never calls me back. Yeah. I never. <laughs> Andy I, calls me back. I, uh, I have. Andy the, Kelly? I, no, Andrew Borsetti. My mom got remarried to Larry, who passed away a few years ago. Mm-hmm. I never heard of Larry. Larry my father Larry died. Larry Borsetti. I'm only joking. I know Larry. Uh, I know Larry. That was a joke. All right. I don't know Andrew. You met Larry. 
Yeah. You don't remember meeting my father? And my I mom? do. I remember Larry. I know your mother. Oh, I know your what father. What color is my mother's hair? It's red. Bright red. This mother. <laughs> my know, mother it's, is it's a brunette. Br yes. I, brunette, of course. Of course. I know your my, mother. I know your father. I didn't know about Andrew. You never Andrew, met me, Andrew. Andrew's my younger brother. You guys know about Bobby's younger brother? No. And they work for you. What? <laughs> Joe. Russell. Yeah. You don't know about my younger brother, Andrew. I just knew you had a hot sister. Dude, first yeah. of all, mm. out of line. <laughs> you work for me. And you're married, you piece of garbage. All right. I have a, a your older sister, mm -hmm. Lisa. You know Lisa, right? Sure. Don't yeah, say it like Lisa. that. Don't Do you know my sister, <laughs> yes, Lisa? Lisa? You know I have siblings? Lisa Patricia oh. Kelly. It's Lisa Marie, you piece of Priscilla. Shit. Priscilla? I have an older sister, Lisa. I have a younger sister, Caroline, and I have an, a younger brother, Andrew. Yes. Right. My sister, my older sister's from the same parents. Right. Mm. That's my, you know, and then the other ones are from Larry. Larry. Um, what? Larry. Larry. Yeah. I can't hear you. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, Andrew's great. I love Andrew. Out, out of all the people in the family, who would you bring to a show if you're not bringing, would you bring Larry? Uh, Larry? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have to dig him up. But okay. he's dead. Did you hear that part? But I'm, I'm, I'm half listening. Larry's, Larry's dead. Okay. Why are you guys wearing your headphones? I don't know. He put I, his on, so I, I put mine on, I, then you I, can put yours on. Yeah. You don't need them unless we watch something on TV, you right. fucking mooks. Oh, this is better. Oh, this is yeah. much better. I That's like why you this. Couldn't wow, hear. I took, wow, why are you so high in that chair? I don't like how high I am. I don't like being in the middle. I don't it like that I'm high. It makes me so happy that you're going to look weird in that chair. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> like like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I keep slouching. Um, yeah, to Larry's to... dead. Larry okay. passed away. He's the greatest guy ever. All awesome. Right. He was the guy who, you know, was there pretty much my whole life, you know. Um, but yeah, my, my, if, I was to, if I was to take anybody to an award show, mm -hmm. I'd take my wife. That's a given. I'm sorry, your your family. I take my kid. Okay, my son. No, anyone from your from the family, my family, your family of your your birth family. You mean the other part of my family, yeah. the one I left and the moved one away you from? left. Yes, the one I left at 16 and the never one went you back. Left and said I'm not coming back. I would here. probably, I take. Um, ah, this is you're gonna get me in trouble. I got a big. Yeah, this is all my fault. Is the entirety of your family listening to this episode? Well, you never know. That's I got a. Really I got a. I got a I, my side of my family is huge. Well, this is what okay. happens: is somebody you mention somebody, and somebody messages it to them. They you hear they this? Do, yeah. You hear Bobby say you take Andrew instead oh, of Kara? My mother was the original Twitter. You say anything, it goes all <laughs> over the friggin' neighborhood. <laughs> She yeah, had a bird. That's her. She tied it to a bird's leg. Yeah, she could, now, now, I'm going to tell you, don't tell anybody, which means everybody already fucking knows because I'm in California yeah. and I'm three hours behind. So I tell people when they say, don't you promise me you won't tell anybody? Yeah. I go, listen, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna ask my wife to promise me she won't tell anybody because uh -huh. I'm 100% telling my wife anything you tell me. Okay. I'm gonna, so I'm not going to lie to you. I am going to tell my wife, uh -huh. but I'll tell her not to tell anybody. All right. I think that goes without saying, right? Yeah. If you tell a married couple something, because and I did a joke with this before, but I'm like, I'm dying for anything to talk about. Yeah. When someone's like, don't tell anybody this. Right. Uh, all I'm thinking is, yes, I'm going to need something it. to talk to my wife about. Yeah. Yeah. But except except puss. What, oh, somebody. Yeah. No puss. Puss is off the table. Only if they're in a relationship. Yeah. Puss is if they're in a relationship, puss is out. Yes. Right. If, so, if they're in a relationship, you don't talk about puss. Yes. So we should say, let's look, be honest, we should say cheating, not pussy. Because pussy, yes. Are you like agree? If, one, you one, agree? Of my, one of my single friends it, is like, I fucked the hottest woman, and then she threw yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Whatever. We're talking about some mischievous stuff. No. Yeah. You mischievous puss, you don't talk no. about. That, of course. But, I'm, but how do you feel about talking about hookups at the person everything. single? Everything. We we've talked about I tell everything. My wife, I tell my wife most everything, unless it's somebody I really like who's doing something really stupid. Not cheating on his wife, but just like, you know. Getting shit faced, got in a fight. I'm not going to tell my wife this guy got in a bar fight because then it's like I'm not going to be able yeah. to play with him anymore. Right? You know, so you don't, yeah. right. you don't want to do that. How long are you married? I don't know. Six years. Six, Six years. years. Yeah. Adorable. Yeah, but we've been together for twelve. So okay. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve. Yeah, it's a long time. I mean, you were together. I mean, dude, I was the same thing. I was with Dawn for a long time yeah. before I, before I got caught cheating. Uh, and had to marry her. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was we were together for a long time. I mean, since I, my early 20s. I'm 52. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's great. I didn't know you knew <laughs> you were that long. 
30 years? Gross for her. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I think we've known. Yeah, but you that. you didn't you weren't married at twenty. I knew you. No, I was married when I was later. I had my kid at forty two. Uh huh. Gross. You know. But you. Why, you, why did he say gross? Your wife's okay. fucking fifty two. I'm forty one <laughs> and she's forty five. She's having a baby at forty five. That's epic. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, you got to get a push gift. Did you know that? What's that? That's a. It's, a, it's a gift that helps push it out of that old yeah. vagina. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Get like a pneumatic jack or something. <laughs> I think you suck it. No. Yeah. No, you not you. Get somebody with a bigger mouth to do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll hurt it. Kid will come out. Kid will come out like a conehead. <laughs> um, are you nervous about having the kid? Um, I get. I have. I'm anxious in, about things. It's hard to say. It's like um, in general, it's anxiety inducing, but most of that's not here yet. It's exciting. It's one of those things you can't really prepare for it in any way. Other than buying the shit. Are you like, close? We're pretty close. It's like six weeks. Wow. Um, no, you're close to your wife. You live in the same house. <laughs> <laughs> Relatively. You um, like her? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, um, it's weird. But, yeah, there's, only, there's nothing you can really do. I'm just trying to go out and work. No, there's nothing you can do. Are you taking time off? Yeah. How well, I had a weekend, by the way, in, in Michigan that I had to reschedule October 19th to the 21st. The babies do the 29th. The doctors were like, yeah, you'll be fine. And then every comic was like, you got to cancel. What are you, crazy, you Nazi piece of shit? Yeah. And so that canceled, and the doctor's like, yeah, okay, either way, it would have been fine. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the doctor's saying it. Yeah, but some people, they come early, whatever. So anyways, yeah, I got a bunch of time off. It's a weird thing when, the, when you're in bed and then the water breaks. You have a water bed? Yeah, the water bed broke. I was a little heavy at the time. It was one of my fats, <laughs> and she got sucked into the no. When her water breaks, yeah, is a fucked up. Did you get a doula? What's a doula? A doula is somebody that comes in and teaches you all the things you need to know for the birth when you're there. No, we got no doula. You should no. get a doula. Come in and <coughs> maybe I get a doula. Have her come in and just tell you. Paula so Abdullah. Hello, folks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when you, that happens, you know what to do. The water breaks, dude. You got to go to the hospital. Yeah, you get and a all lift. hell break, dude. All dude, all hell breaks loose. And so the doula does what? Do, why, can't you tell me what the doula said? Well, save me a few a few doulas. I I forget. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> he doesn't. He can't remember the Godfather. I can't I know. remember to call fucking him yeah, back. He, he don't call me back. I know it was like well, you know. What is it? No, rubber the water, back. The water breaks. You no, put her in you the, car. the car. You gotta smell it. Smell it. You gotta you gotta touch it. Make sure it's a certain consistency. You gotta look at it. Make sure there's no speckles of blood in it. You gotta smell it. Make sure. There's okay. No all these smell. things. My water things broke. Dude, Get in you the gotta car. Yeah, go. Dude, going yeah. over to the doula's taste house. It. Make sure it's not funky tasting. And what? But, but what are you qualified to do? Like, uh oh, cinnamon. Yeah. Right. What, what are you gonna do? I lied about the tasting. <laughs> But that would have been great if he fucking didn't shut your mouth. You would have been tasting. I know He's not, not going to taste, taste the thing. He's yeah, you pass would have, out. You what are you talking thought? about? <laughs> I've only tasted pizza and burgers my whole life. I'm not tasting her pussy. Ugh. No, you do Just have the to, idea of you, licking pussies. You so do great. have to look. You have to look at it and see if there's any blood in it. But either and way, then, I'm okay, going to the hospital. You have to, then what do you do? You have to smell it. Make and sure then after no you smell, smell it, what do you do? And then you Get to, in the car. Yeah, if we're there's going to the hospital, blood, no matter what. If there's blood, you got to take a towel and stick it in her vagina. Put this in your vagina. Get in the car. That's what. Like a medium fish cloth. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, take no, this you go in to, your towel. <coughs> you go. To, you, ugh. you go. Ugh. Sorry, I'm very sick. You got? Are you sick? Yeah, COVID. <laughs> Tested positive today. When? Like four hours. Ago. Are you really? No, it's a joke. I'm kidding. You were sick are though, you, right? Are you still sick? I'm not sick. I had a Taste sniffle. his spit. Taste his spit. See, <laughs> see the consistency funny. of his spit. <laughs> you got to go to the hospital, and then they- No, it's a cold. I got like a- it's Not like a you, the doula. We're, we're, we're oh, back oh, on later. doula. Oh, okay. Okay, you go back on doula. Thank you. Um, and then you got to give her back massages Yeah, that's going to labor. Work. I always do that. Yeah. And then, how do you think they got the kid? Huh? That's how it started. Is she giving natural- Childbirth? We're gonna we're playing it by ear. She's gonna try natural. If not, we go. She ain't gonna make it five minutes. You're gonna go what? You're gonna go C-section? I guess. Is she getting a uh, epi uh, epidural? Maybe. I don't know. We're gonna play it by ear. Dude, don't play that by ear. <laughs> epidural? Yeah, get that. Yeah, well, she'll get it. Dude, it hurt. Dude, 
I've never seen He Dawn. doesn't have any control over that. She's going to yeah. scream oh, for all this stuff. Oh, fuck you, woke Adam. What woke Adam? He's not going to be in the fucking room, yeah, this gonna guy. Go, yeah, you are. You He's going to pass out in the car on the way I'll over. I'll be in the room. I'm in the room. I'm good. He's got... I'm He's in the room. nervous of sitting in the high chair. You really she think says, he's good under fucking pressure? Well, I'm not going to have YouTube comments from the at the pregnancy being like, yeah. why is your fucking chair so high, you mm -hmm. fucking dork? <laughs> I'm going to go there. She wants epidural. She'll get an epidural. I'll say, give me a shot of that, too. A little free lapse. <laughs> and uh, you enjoy it. It all splatters on the floor. It's gross. It oh doesn't go on the it's floor, yuck. you piece of shit. No, the placenta. No, it's in the bed. Everywhere. Well, whatever. What's she doing? Standing up? Was that she makes, rushing? That makes more placenta. Hi, <laughs> and uh, it drips everywhere. The baby comes out. You take your shirt off. The baby goes on your nipple. Yeah, yada yada. You cry. Are you having this child in the farmland? What the hell <laughs> the did you just describe? Well, they got, you got to do, do the bonding. Did you have to do that? You take you get shirtless. The baby. Shits yeah, I did that. But here's yeah, the thing: I'm going to tell you too is I, for me, and I think for most guys, you don't feel any connection towards this baby until. Uh, like a, a few weeks out. I already because feel it's connected. Sh it's shocking. That's because you're half female. It's shocking. Mm. Just a good half. It, it, I was in shock. I was, I was pretending to do... Don't upset Bobby. I understand. I hate your fucking stupid references, both of you. <laughs> Oh, you should have a show, References. Okay. Freaking frack. I'm sorry. Karen tells me you're half Jewish. It's just... Why did you do that, Bobby? They would have never found it. <laughs> what the hell kind of people are they? Mm -hmm. Great film. Anyway, what the fuck kind of people are they? See, there you go. Yeah, that, that was great. Was, that was All great. right, look, that was very good. Henry, See? Henry, what the fuck kind of people are they? See? Karen. Uh, um, yeah, dude, you. I was in such shock, and I was, I was, I think I was pretending to do what I saw in movies. I was like, oh my god, mm -hmm. oh my god. But in, inside, I was just. When I really felt my son is the day he looked at me and smiled. That's oh. when I fucking, something just went boom and I yeah. melted and I've never Grinch's looked back Grinch's heart since. grew 10 sizes plus two. <laughs> That's good. It's another reference. Godfather uh, Part 2. That's right. That's not, Godfather 2. Frank yeah. Pantangeli says that. Uh, <laughs> I like in the trials. I'm assaulted by this thing, though. That's good. <laughs> so when Max smiled at you, it was all over. Yeah, it was great. I can't wait. Yeah. You're going to be a great exciting. dad. It's funny because I talked to you about being a dad for a long time, and you said, no, fuck that, never. Well, I had a, a you were childhood. You are very against it. Yeah, well, very, um, you know, there's some trauma from my childhood, and it just seemed um Yeah, but you're unfun. doing the work. Yeah, but now, you know, you put some work in, you realize, oh, I can I can overcome that stuff. It would be nice. Was it a planned thing, or did it just happen? Planned. She's 45. Of course we planned it. You don't have uh -huh. oh, accidental brands. They had charts. You know, it's funny. We, we, and we started, the whole process started at, at Max's birthday party because uh, Rachel brought her little baby. Oh, yeah, the pool we party. Like this. Oh, yeah. We were there for the, her first swim, and we were like, oh, yeah, we should just do that. What are we doing? So you did it that night? You came in her that night? Uh, no, at that point, she was still on birth control. And then we came in each other for a while. I'm sorry. Yeah. Back up one second. Yeah. If you're at home, rewind that. What'd you say? You came in each other. Came in each other. We oh, fingered she came each in other. You? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then, uh, and then that wasn't working. And then we went to the doctor, and they were like, "No, you're 84 years old. Why did you think <laughs> this is gonna work?" She's like, "There's no chance that would work. It's just fucking. It's just dust all over the sheets." Oh god. And so we had to do some lab work and do a little finagling. Her, her eggs were hanging on like a leaf and fall. <laughs> it was just eggshells. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we made it work, and uh, it's science, and now we got a baby. How excited were you when the baby? Now it's healthy, baby, right? Yeah, very. Like you healthy. had to go through all that. that. Was the scariest part for me when yeah. you had to go through that first few months with like, hold on, yeah, chill yeah. out, mm. and then you see it. Now, when you found out it was a girl, were you happy? Is that what you wanted? It's a boy. Oh, sorry. It's a boy, and it's staying a boy. Is it a boy? Yeah, you... He's gonna be a boy. <laughs> We're going to a red county. <laughs> he's gonna be a real man. There you go. Right. Show him the Godfather, baseball, the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> right. You having a? I thought you were having a girl. Why do oh. I think you're having a girl? Ugh. I don't do know. know. Why I think Andrew was it was a fake sibling. <laughs> we don't even know each other. No, I'm having like a boy. Why are you here? <laughs> a man. What's the what's his name? Do you have it? I'm not saying his name. We don't need his name out there. Come do on. Do you have it picked out yet? Yeah. Does she you, know I'll, does she know you have it picked out? No, I haven't told her yet. Oh, okay. She said so, I get the so name. That's not gonna be his I'm, name. I'm honored. Yeah. I'm honored. You got it. Well, you married us already. I'm honored, dude. So I gotta spread the love. Bob. You're naming it Louis J. Gomez? <laughs> Luis Gay Gomez. Hello, folks. 
Uh, yeah, it's exciting. It'll be. You're, not, it'll be you're fun. naming it Mark. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's going to be a great. Why do it? Who cares? Strong name. My kid will do a podcast with your kid. That sounds a little bit like Alan. Hey. Okay. Um, that's great. You're having a boy. You're going to take your kid to the games. I know. I can't like wait. Catch. I can't wait. You're going to be an awesome dad. Thanks, buddy. Sarah's going to be a good mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, she's going to be great. She's awesome. I'm going to be great. I can't wait. It's going to be really fun. We'll have to come over. Yeah. Have us over. Yeah, call me. Yeah, everyone come by. You hang can come out. over anytime you want. I, I want to go to the tiny house. How come you never had kids? You just never wanted them? I, at this point, you really think this should continue? Am I crazy? What are you talking about? You're a good guy. You're one yeah, of the nicest nuts. guys in the business. Good yeah. looking guy. You're talented. What's wrong with you? Are yeah. you nuts? I'm all nuts. How nuts? How come you don't come off as nuts? Inside nuts. I get the anxiety is just it's too much. Oh, really? You got anxiety? Joe has anxiety. Problems. I know. We, yeah, we, we talked, talked about, about it. it. Yeah. We talked about it many times. Yeah. It's, it's, you call each other anxiety things? What? No. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we did a podcast. We did a couple podcasts, but but it also I was on his, he was on mine, but it's like my stuff is just like it's it's different from yours because you got. Um, I also got dyslexia and ADD, so my my, my stuff is all compounded with uh, uh, a bunch of shame shit, you know, growing up because I wasn't good in school. So, oh, that's why, I got dude, me. I got that too. And I, how did you got tested for dyslexia? Yeah, I got tested, and they didn't. They dyslexia, uh, ADD, but they had no fucking idea what AD, you know. They treated ADD when I was a kid. Sit down. That was it. Right. It was just none of that shit. So all the shame got piled on and stuff. So wow. just un- unwind- unwinding everything. What'd you do for the dyslexia? What'd they, they- nothing. There's nothing really? you can do. I mean, you they, can- they, they tried to do the eye thing because they thought one of the eyes were off, and they didn't know. Well, they can teach you how to. They can teach you how to process things mm-hmm. with dyslexia. Yeah, I never, I, n- I never got that far. What I found out was, and this is what happened to me when I was a kid. I couldn't read. Yeah, you know, so reading was difficult for me. So they gave me, uh, they gave me one of those those big uh, tape recorders for the for the blind kids, and they gave me books on tape, this big orange tape recorder, and they were for blind kids. So the, the things were this big. It was like the phone in an assisted living. Did you have to carry blind. that into this, school? No, I they kept it in the library. I was oh, carrying, great, you know. But the only books we got at the library was uh, the children's books and then philosophy books. So I'm, I'm reading autobiography of a yogi and Flat Stanley. So this is the sh- this is the shit that's going into my head. Now how there, is it? There's no sustained peace in the world of form. I do not like green eggs and ham. This is the shit that goes right. into my head. Right. How do you deal with memorizing scripts? That I can do because I can hear it. What I do is, uh, um, my wife uh, will read it, uh, read me the script. Oh. Uh, and I, I can. Your I wife can make reads it the script. And, she'll read the script. I'll record it, and then I'll just play it back. Is that for a scene or the actual yeah. script? Well, it depends. If it's a movie, you know, I just cut out my scenes. It's weird that I, I, I think uh, memorizing sc- scenes or mm-hmm. lines for yeah. me is all confidence. Like if really? I start to feel weird about it, I, I can't remember it. And there's another thing too: good writing. Good writing, mm-hmm. I can. I mean, easy. Got it. Bad writing, I can't get it. Yeah. Can't get it. I mean, well, uh, well, what about you? Good with improv. Well, I'm good with improv, but a lot. I get you know auditioning mm-hmm. for me. The last when I did it, when we started doing these Zoom things, yeah. I just uh, it's not a. I'm not good. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at because you don't know where to look. There's no yeah. connection. There's, I just did one today. I feel yeah. that way. I'm like, I feel like, like a fucking idiot. Yeah, you're looking at there's all these you know you're looking at that person and it's I don't know. Look, think about it as your coverage. When you got the, that's the way that's what helped me is like because we got a camera I'm like okay yeah, but when you have coverage the person's connecting with you yeah and they're looking right at you mm-hmm. and they're in it with you when you're doing it with them not only is it the person doesn't give really a fuck about the scene they're just reading and number two are you doing these at home the, or you, the or camera's you, here yeah so I, I either have to look if I do this then I'm connecting with the person if I'm mm-hmm. doing this I look blind <laughs> you understand because yeah. I'm I look like this on the screen and everybody's looking I'm like why would you do you know it's just I don't are you, know. Are you doing it at home? Or are you going into this? I haven't had an audition in a long time. No, I, but they I were mean, home. They were home tapes. We we're making them at the house. Yeah, I just did, I couldn't do it. And then you go in auditioning for me has always been a nightmare. Give mm. me the part, I'm I can kill it. Yeah. Oh, doing the part, getting the parts, the hard is hard, is the hardest part. Doing it's easy. What were you saying? You just saying what? I was just saying this exact thing today because I had to do an audition for some movie, and um, you just feel like a fucking idiot because you're just staring and it's over. You're recording. It's a self tape. And so you're recording yourself talking to nobody, and it's the antithesis of stand-up comedy. 
because it feels pretentious and silly, mm-hmm. which is what we would make fun of. In a room, in a movie, you're with, you're with other people. So acting to me is, is an art form, and you're, we're going, oh, yeah, fuck you, you fuck. Mm-hmm. But when you're by yourself in a room, I'm yeah. like, this is, what I sh- this is what I make fun of. Yeah. With me being like, doth not how? <laughs> and, um, yeah. I didn't really go out for a Shakespeare. I thought that would be funny. Well, that's not even Shakespeare. I didn't even know it was Shakespeare. Doth not how? That's not even a fucking word. Well, they say doth. Doth is a thing, right? What? Nope. Doth. Nope. Yeah. Not doth not doth, how. Doth, <laughs> doth Vader? Doth not how? I don't even like saying it. <laughs> doth is something. Doth protests too much. I got an autistic kid fucking wailing out it right now. It will come yeah. up on that screen very quickly. Well, I'm dumb. I feel very similarly. I felt a lot of uh, shame, bad grades, couldn't pay attention, yeah. all that mm-hmm. stuff. It was very what does difficult. it mean? What does it say? Lady doth protest. Doeth. It means yeah. doeth, right? It's Shakespeare. I know Lady Shakespeare. Do- doth. Married to Anne Hathaway. What does oh. doth mean? Doth. I think it means does. Does. It does. Yeah, there you go. Maybe you're right. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, doth. All right, doth. You're I'm, a doth. I'm sure they don't say it the way you said it, though. Doth, doth not how. That sounds like Hitler. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not Shakespeare. Me. All right, easy. I got some Jewish guys in the room. Stop Chill out. You're going to fucking make them start shaking. What? Dude, come on. What? I'm just trying. Stop. <laughs> just, I'm trying. I'm going to have to put this whole Stop. episode up on punchup.live. This whole thing's going to be line. yellow. Um, <laughs> easy. Aren't... aren't uh, so you have the room all set. You have a two-bedroom now. We haven't moved yet. This is what's frustrating oh, right now. So we're moving God. upstairs to a two-bedroom. And what sucks is we have piles and piles of gifts from people, none mm-hmm. from you. But we have these huge boxes of chairs <laughs> and diapers. Am I supposed to get you a gift shirts. now? Oh, no, it's fine. But wait a second. Skirts and Go. First of all, you didn't get me shit with Max. What? <laughs> I... No, when you had your baby, we weren't friends yet. You were in the hospital. You were doing the regs. Me, Dan, Dan, you, and Lewis came. No, are you out of your fu- Wow. No, I will I have seven. photos. He's 10. Yeah. We've been friends for 15 years. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. I'm 100% right. No, we started- Does he yeah. call you back? Um, occasionally. Okay. What? Wait, when did you have the baby? 10 years ago. Yeah. Like 10 years ago. Yeah, I came to all his birthday parties. I brought some things. You never... I was poor. Okay, that's fine. I was broke. That's fine. And I came to his birthday party. What do you want? I mean, I, but you I don't you, you don't give somebody a gift before. You give it to him after at the shower. No, the shower's before you, dum-dum. Did shower. you have one? We just had it last week. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Ago. It wasn't Jack or Jill. It was just Jill. It doesn't matter. Did so you Jill invite out. Dawn? <laughs> Jill out. Did you invite Dawn? No. Then fuck off. <laughs> How much was I supposed to just huck you a gift and we're not even invited? It was a joke, a joke. You're not going to bring the pot with you? <laughs> Good I fellas hate, again. I, I hate both of you. <laughs> I really do. Hey, you make that coffee to go. strike, it never what? comes back. They never make a movie. Fine, a fine. Joke. I don't care. I'm not going to ruin my party. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke, a joke. Anyways. Um, what? No, so anyways, we have a bunch of shit in the house, but we can't so move yet and to put it in the thing, which is annoying. We've got to move in two weeks, and then we'll set up the so room. So you're going to sit like this for two weeks? We just have a pile of shit. Like we have, boxes, what do you have? boxes of stuff. Uh, I don't even know, because it's in did boxes. You, did you get so- something? Do you need something? I don't know what we need. You'd have to ask Sarah. I'll, I'll, I'll get, register. I'm going to get you something. We have a registry thing. Okay. You do? I didn't get that. Well, I know, because I didn't send it to my fucking boys. Oh, now I'm your boys. Five yeah, seconds boy. you've only known me for a year. You're my boy. You don't even know my kid. You don't no. know my dad died. You don't even know I have a yeah, little Larry. brother. Larry. Larry died. Andrew survived. I know. <laughs> There's the older sister who's hot and the other one that's salsa, whatever. Nope. The younger one's hot. The older one's... How many siblings do I have? You have uh, three. <laughs> you do? Yeah. That was a lucky guess. <laughs> it's not a lucky guess. I know you. No. You're your mom and your dad. I know you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have one sister. I know I you. One you have a mother you and a father. Don't bullshit yeah, me. My sister's old. I have one sister, you asshole. Yeah, I know that. Kathleen. Yeah. No, not even close. Mary no. Beth Kennedy. Not even close. List. No. No, still no. <laughs> Anyways, we got a bunch of stuff. We're going to move upstairs. Anyway, I'm drinking more. Drinking more what? It's, it's good for you, punk. <laughs> Drinking more what? Wine. It's good for you. <laughs> Don't joke it's like from that. The from up. the Godfather. Shut up. I hate your yeah. sayings. Yeah. They're not even your sayings. Shh, shh, shh. Are you sad that you never had a kid? No. Really? No. You'd be a good dad. I think I would be. You would be a great dad. I'm a great godfather. Not... <laughs> Ooh. 
It's a great film. Yeah. Very relatable. But number one at the box office. Isn't that crazy to think about? A three-hour art house film was like the number one movie in the box office. What are you mm-hmm. talking about? That happened all the time back then. JFK did that. Scarface did it. Did you have, Did you get the Godfather Coppola? Godfather 2 did it. Coppola Notebook? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I got it Smokey all. Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey and the like Bandit. Like number one for the you year. Want some? Hush puppies, daddy. We got no time for that crap. Sorry. I'm talking highest grossing film of the year. I hate it. <laughs> <clears throat> I hate it. Give me a Diablo sandwich and a Dr. Pepper. Make it fast. I'm in a goddamn hurry. We got it. We got it. We got everything. Was in it a uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, bank robber? What? Bank robbing? Bank robbing is baby shit alongside of what this dude's doing. <laughs> Driving through people's backyards, <laughs> knocking down mailboxes. Got a broad in the car, took across the state line. That, that's a minor. You know some that's movies? That's kidnapping. Yeah. I don't think he's got a permission, and that's kidnapping. <laughs> How's that for hijinks? <laughs> what a See, now you're back. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite movies. Well, look at your phone again. I'm gonna fucking take I don't it away. Know who's calling Put your phone down. That's oh, not you. You're like you. a 13 year old. Whoa. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That Thank was fun. You. That was good. Today's episode is brought to you by Ghostbed. A great night's sleep is important to anybody, not just comedians. Ghostbed makes premium mattresses at an affordable price all designed for cooler and more comfortable sleep. Take advantage of a free and fast shipping, their 101-night mattress trial, and financing starting at just 35 bucks a month. You heard me. You can get a brand new mattress for as low as 35 bucks a month. Listeners get 40% off all products site-wide. You can get 40% off mattresses, adjustable bases, and bedding accessories, or get 50% off when you bundle a mattress with an adjustable base. Use promo code YKWD at ghostbed.com slash YKWD for 40% off site-wide, limited time only. This show is sponsored by ShipStation. I mean, we live in this automated world. You know, but some things still require some uh, tedious manual work. I'm telling you right now, ShipStation is the best. ShipStation makes it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. Get 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use promo code to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. And 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use promo code YKWD and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code YKWD. We're back. We're live here. You know what, dude. Joe List, guest hosting. I got my guests, Adam Ferrara. Hello. And Robert Patrick Kelly. What's up, dude? And uh, what a great episode. Thank you guys for being here at the uh, at the shed. We're not at the shed. We're at the studios, the oh, Comedy Store Studios. Thank you for being at the high chair chat room. This episode yeah. is brought to you by... You're in the Dolph chair. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Bananas. When you need carbs or Don't do that. Sugar. We have a sponsor. Yeah, Bananas. Who's the sponsor today? Do I have an in-read? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that at the end. It's, um... You peel them and you eat them. Bananas. When you're dehydrated or you just need a snack. Have you ever done the um, comics come home? Yeah, you should. No, it's a sensitive spot for me. It's the one thing uh, I, you know, I'd like to do. It's uh, I'm Boston. I'm, I'm a literal comic coming home. We're going to get him on it. Get me on there. What the fuck? Why wouldn't Leary put him on this? I don't think he knows me. But I'm from Boston. I mean, aren't I the ideal person to come home? Well, I mean, now your comedy's uh, where you'd kill it. I've done some arenas. I got, I got a resume. I'd sell some tickets, frankly. <laughs> frankly? 50, 60 tickets. What's it hold? It's so, it's so wild you haven't done that. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe they don't know who I am, whatever it is. Um, we're going to tell, we're gonna tell uh, Dennis, Dennis about him. All right. You were, now, you still talk to Dennis? I do. Yeah, you friends? Yeah, we did. Uh, was I just saw he texted me for uh, the uh, the benefit at the Rock <coughs> for the Leary Firefighters Fund. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. It was nice. I don't do that one. I do the. He has me just do the comics come home. Yeah. He's never asked me to do the highfalutin. Well, you got to repel out of buildings and shit. You want to do that? What? Yeah. What are you talking about? The one at the Rock, the uh, for the firefighters fund. You go in. It's a day at the training center. 
So, oh, wow. So I would love to do that. That's I great. Come, I come from a family of firefighters, by the way. No, you I don't. I do. 100% don't. I 100% do. Who, who's a firefighter in your family? Your sister? My uncle, my uncle Doug is like the captain of the Douglas Fire Department. Campbell. Douglas? Campbell. And my uncle, my uncle Dale as well. Dale List? Campbell. Campbell? The name Campbell, Campbell List? Yeah. So you oh, got two Campbell. people? Two people in the firefighters? Yeah, and then, you know, you have, like, extended You actually, family. you would be a good firefighter. That's what I was going to be. That's what I wanted to be. But then I found out they had to be a, uh, you had to be a paramedic. And yeah. the idea of, like, sewing people up or giving people needles, I was like, I'm out. He didn't, yeah, all right. Yeah. I, I don't blame you. Yeah, we're a big, big, we, I, I do mean, the Uncle Dale's benefit every year. For 20 years, I've been doing a benefit for the fire department, Holbrook Fire Department. It's a great it's show. It's so funny. He's got so many connections to Boston, yeah. firefighters, and he hasn't done the comics come home. Delirio would love list. There's probably an incident. Was there an incident? Yeah. I called uh, Leary a homo. We got in a fender bender, and I said, no, no I don't know. Never, I've never met him. Don't know the man, but uh, I was a big fan growing up, of course. When you did the uh, Rescue Me, yeah, you did, it, did you do it with Lenny, right? Lenny was there? Yeah. Was Lenny a regular, right? Lenny Club. Lenny was Uncle Teddy. No, he was recurring as Uncle Teddy. Recurring as Uncle Teddy. I remember the episode with Kevin Knox and uh, yeah. Kenny Rogers were on there with the biker gang. Oh, yeah. That was I just saw, Kevin I just Knox saw, was on it? I just saw yeah. Kenny in uh, uh, Nantucket with uh, Steven. Right. I haven't seen Steve Oh, wow. Yes, that was fun. I love You've been in Nantucket? I went to Nantucket once with Al and the Monkeys, mm -hmm. that comedy group I was with, to do some festival or something yeah. way back in the day, though. Yeah. Before the one that's happening now. Yeah, I did the one that was now. You know who used to run it? was Vic. Yes. Yeah. Vic Henley, yeah. I, I remember that. when I did it, the, the, the owner of the club or the wherever we were doing it, mm -hmm. we were eating before the show, and he walks up. Never eat before a show. <laughs> Rule number one in show business. And he just walked away. And we all just slowly put, slowly put our hamburgers down. We're, like, we're not supposed to eat. Like, we don't know show business. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> no, Nantucket's the best. That was fun. Is it? Oh, my God. It was fun. So, if I could own property anywhere, like I was ahead of money and I was a guy with people with money, Nantucket. You think? I, I love it, it. I heard it's more expensive than Hyenas. <laughs> Oh my God! It's more yeah, expensive than anywhere. Lots, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, you it's like a lot yeah. of it's like stupid, stupid it's, expensive. You got to take a boat out there, right? Boat or or they or flew us fly. in one of those Buddy Holly planes. They fly in, right? Yeah, that's fucking scary. No, Nantucket's amazing because it's mostly preservation. It's like beautiful cobblestone wood houses, and then most of it is just preserved. And you can mm. ride your bike everywhere. Great beaches. It's like spectacular. How's the crime? There's zero of it. Zero crime. I mean, I'm sure somebody steals a hubcap or something. People from the mainland get drunk and fucking piss in the bushes, but no one's getting. We're gonna swim murder. out to Nantucket to piss in the bushes. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no crime. No crime. Nobody's ripping off a Fendi store out there. I don't think there's so. no Fendi store. There's no. No, store they don't have any corporations. Okay. What do you mean? There's no corporations. There's no McDonald's. Oh no, You're shit. Not allowed to have no. it. No Starbucks. No Starbucks. It's coffee. Dunkin' Donuts. <clears throat> Dunkin' Donuts made it out there. No. Really? I don't remember seeing it? I don't think so. Wow, that's no. great. I went there once. I, I don't. I'm not a fan. No, I'm not. I'm look. I but get, you're in the fucking woods. Like I like the Unabomber. The woods. They I'm have woods. Fan. They have woods. You're not a fan, Tucket. Hi, folks. Uh, what is this? Uh, what is this? Read it. This is uh, an Nantucket crime. It's a uh, number of crimes. Tw uh, Twenty-four violent crimes annually. Uh, One hundred eighty-four property total. Two hundred eight. It's a uh, one point six six crime. Whatever per capita of a thousand. Residents. Thousand residents. Yeah. So, so there's some crime. It'd be funny if there was 24 rapes a yeah, year, though. What, yeah, but what's <laughs> the, the population? It doesn't say it here. 24 people. <laughs> 24 people, and every one of them. And they off. hit each other. They hit each year. other. Every... I'm not a fan. I mean, I'm, Tell not, me I'm not, not a fan, but I the Cape, Nantucket, all these places. It's, it's like 11,000. Huh? In the vineyard? I've been to the vineyard. I fucking hated it. Hey, I went with Noxie. Right. I did the hot tin roof. I bombed. And then we had to take that that um, community uh, shuttle back to the hotel or the right. the bed and breakfast, wherever the fuck we're staying. Okay. And and it, I don't I don't like that where I got to wait for nine other people and they drop everybody off yeah, on the way. But that's not the place. That's just the situation. Yeah, but that's part of the place, which makes me sick. Okay, but the weather you didn't like the. No, I mean whatever. Uh, the I beach. Mean, <laughs> beach is fine. I'd rather go to Maine or Hampton Maine. Beach. Not all. Maine's, what are you, it's crazy? Maine. Maine's beautiful. The only one-syllable state. Is, what are you, Gary Gullman? Um, <laughs> Maine is, what are you, Mudd-Hall? No, no, Maine what do you rules. Mean? Maine, Maine is, is awesome. 
what a cold. I was in Maine. I like cold water. Yeah. What do you what, what do you want? What do you want? Tropical? Hawaii. I'll go to Hawaii. <laughs> Fuck Hawaii too. No, listen. So about the rainiest state. Yeah, Hawaii. Do you have to shit on everything? I'm not. I'm saying that it's rainier than every other state. Well, I love. Look, look I, up. I love Hawaiian people. I right. love Hawaii. Right. But it's <laughs> the beaches are dangerous. There's sharks everywhere. There's coral. There's sh- uh, there's no fire. sharks. In- <laughs> there's no sharks up in the in the Atlantic Ocean. Not in Aruba. And in uh, Wells, there's no sharks. What's that? Rainiest state. There you Hawaii, go. Hawaii overall rainiest state. Uh, I guess if you like rainbows. I'll still get a house in Kauai. Kauai, you mean Kawhi the- Leonard? Kauai Leonard. <laughs> We're gonna you mean share the Pineapple Island? Player. Kauai, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. The Pineapple Island. I'll take it. That's where the doles live. I used to, I stayed, I used to go every year, and they were right by Ka Beach, and it was beautiful. Stuff. Oh. I'm not. I mean, it takes too long to get there. It's a fucking nightmare to get back, and uh, I'd rather go to Aruba. It's a four-hour flight, and they have juicy, sandy, no-wave beaches. I don't mm. want waves. I don't surf. No, I'm all waves. I don't like. A, I hate I like, a no-wave. You no. know what waves I like? Wells Beach. I like a like those waves. They're like mid-waves. I'm not going to Hawaii where uh, you know the 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 uh, hundred-year storm is coming in. I got fucking Patrick Swayze coming in on a hundred-foot wave. You know what the name of that you, beach is? Yeah, Wells Beach. In Point Break. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. How, why would you remember that? Because I've seen the movie many times. I, I retain these I things. I can't wait till you have a kid and all that shit goes out the window. No, I'm going to remember all of it. I'm going to teach them. You won't. Now don't I'm sitting up. Before I was slouching because I wanted to be level. Please don't teach I want to let everyone know what's up. Please don't teach a kid. Movies? That shit. Why? Oh, I hate it. Film. Remember when I was on tour with Louie and, and Ranan? Mm-hmm. That's all they did was talk about fucking movie shit. We're, we're literally in the Badlands. I mean, it's beautiful. In South Great film. Of- Terrence Malick. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Sheen. It's wonderful. And Sissy Spacek. She's just a teenager. Nothing. Very good film. Nothing. Terrence Malick's first movie. I hate you. Okay. And I, hate, I don't know who Terex, who's Terrence Malick. <laughs> he was in Badlands. Terrence Malick. <laughs> He's a filmmaker. He made, uh, I think, Life of Pi or Pi. He did Thin I, Red that, Line. That pissed me off. I love Pi. Yeah, his, I, uh, I, I love Pi. Not, the, not, not for your whole life. Who's the Life of Pi? Is that that Tiger movie? Life of Pi. No, that's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. No, the one with the tiger <laughs> and the boat. Who's the one with the yeah. tiger and the boat? What? That's Life of Pi. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Somebody yeah. woke up. We all look to the screen, but no one's Nothing's doing there. shit. Nothing's there. There's 11,000 people that live in Nantucket year round. Bobby's changed. He used to be like, what the fuck? Wait, Why? Life of Pi is different. Why That's Ang Lee. Like, well, yeah, Life of Pi. But I was right. Yeah. But who is, what did Terrence Malick did? He did something Pi or Life. Ang Lee did. Uh, Tree of Life. He did Tree of Life. Brokeback Mountain. Yes. Right? That's a great film. No, that film. I love it well. I love it. Sure you do. You spit in your hand in a tent all the time. <laughs> you know my story. Oh, sissy. Greg Stone and I were at the comedy condo in Tampa. Mm. And you did, you reenacted Brokeback <laughs> Mountain in a. Under no, the you guys I was, buy cowboy hats and said we can keep a secret. I was talking about I the can't film. Get enough for you. What and was he it? He said, uh, I, can't quit. I wish I could quit you. Wish I could quit you. Of course you'd know that. That's one of my favorite movies ever. But we were, I was like telling him about it. Ever? I've never seen it. Absolutely. Why? It's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful to look at. And it's also heartbreaking. And just because we're not kid. gay doesn't mean you don't feel that way. Okay, I feel, I feel bad that way about my best son. buddy. He lives in the other side of the country. How do you think real? Say, how do you think cowboys felt when they were like, "Let's go see this movie." Halfway through, it turned into a gay porn. They must have been like, "What the fuck?" They thought they were going to see like a Clint Eastwood flick. <laughs> Get I the think, horse. We're getting out of here. What the? Fuck? I think that's more. Who'd you tail? <laughs> I think that's more with that newer movie that came out, the one that Sam Elliott was mad about. What's that? The Netflix movie with Benedict coming my back. Oh, he was fucking the kid? <laughs> when he was banging the retarded kid? Was he banging a retarded kid? I mean, the kid wasn't all there. What was that movie called? It just came out last year. It was called Fucking a Redneck Young Boy. It was called Yeehaw. You know what I'm talking about? Benedict no coming come come, come our back? Is that the guy that played yeah. Benjamin Cum- 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 Cumberbatch? No. Not Cumberbatch. Benjamin. What the, the fuck was that? Someone just oh, fell. Danny, stop. Making fucking it was called oh, Power of the Dog, it was called. Power of the Dog. Why do you always got to make noise, Danny? Sorry. Don't say called... sorry like I beat you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was called Power of the Dog. Power of the Dog. But anyways, Brokeback fucking rules. Wait a minute. Get back to I, Brokeback. Yeah. Raise your hand if you think Brokeback Mountain was one of the best movies of all time. But you, what did you see it? One time or zero times? I jerked zero. off to it seven times. Right? He's it's being a, honest. That part where he's, he's washing his dirty sheep ass in the water and then he sticks it in Jake Gyllenhaal's butt? Yeah, it's great. Not great. It's good. It's not the best, one of the best movies of all time. 
I said it's one of my favorites. I said Blade Runner would fucking is one of the best movies of all time. More like Gay Runner. <laughs> all right. Because <laughs> you, run, you run. I got a game. Days. You want to play? What? Yeah. Danny, yeah. you ready? Yeah. There's a thing. Explain it, Danny. This is all over the subways now, by the way. Uh, so is this the arm hair? Yes. The girl arm this? hair. Okay, yes. this is crazy. I was on the all sub- over the subways. You're it's looking at it's the insane. There it is. So there's a new ad campaign by Dove for body positivity, uh, free the pits, where they are encouraging showing your armpits. Uh, free the pits. And there's a lot of uh, armpits. Free the tits. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. But that was the first campaign, That'd free the nipple. Like to see but it's not arm, it's stubble. It's like the Some of it's stubble, there. some of it, yeah. But it's Make not, a choice. It's just the idea, and it, the, 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 the statistic they give is oh. six out of ten women judge other women's armpit hair. So yeah. we have to yeah. stop that. Is what they're saying. Well, don't so, talk to us. Talk to six women. So we think it would be fun to, instead of stopping judging them, have an actual contest where we literally okay. judge their arm. Let's armpits. judge it. What, let's judge this. On what's the, what are we judging on? What's the scale? Uh, what's one, the criteria we're looking for? One to ten. Yeah, I think we should pit them against each other. So it's not one right. to I, ten. I think that's not that bad. I think, I think that's That doesn't a, even look like, yeah, that just That's like a like, four. Can you zoom in on the pit? That looks like my asshole. Not zoom out, zoom in. Just like some residue. Yeah, zoom out more. Make it smaller. <laughs> yeah. No, do that. Your autism sucks. <laughs> yeah, go. Whoa. Go, go, right. go even bigger. I want to see that. Yeah, see, that looks a little bit there's like the, my bum. Okay, I mean, but see, there's right stretch there, marks there, in there, there's too. There's a face in there. That's I mean, the screen. The, oh, yeah, I see that. See the face? Where? Yeah, there's yeah, a, yeah. Right there. See the face? The scream. Danny thought you That's literally met her face. The what? Munch, the, the scream. Yeah, I see it. Pull up the screen. Two eyes and a nose. Oh well, yeah, I do see the scream face. Yeah, and two eyes made out. I of actually, cold. I actually do see a, a fat chick's asshole too. <laughs> if you it go, it looks like, like ass cheeks. If, if you, you go like this, yeah, yeah. If you cut that off. It looks like a asshole. Without look- the beard, it's him. Yep. Ah, oh, fucking this! I hate this show. <laughs> Ma, I gotta borrow this knife. Okay, oh, it's a sin. All right, back. It's a sin. Okay. Okay. Let me nice. see that. I don't even see anything. Well, Ooh. she's hot. And has she's hot. Zoom in on that. Let me see it. It's not necessarily about the hair. It's just about the pits in general. So yeah, you pits. should be allowed to have whatever pits you want. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's, that's not like, bad. That looks like one's hairy and the other one's Yeah, hot. that's my wife on any given day. All right. Right there. Andy she pit. has that little five o'clock your head. shadow. Yeah. Let's go. What do you got? Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, I this saw this lady. Big she got oh, this is gonna be terrible. This is gonna be red too. This is gonna be gross. No, she got a tattoo. Keep it zoomed in. I like that. Oh, that's nice. She yeah, got a tattoo. Like that. that must have hurt. You know how nice bad that hurt? Tattoo. That's good. Keep it zoomed in, Maximus. Please. Yeah, I want to. That's that's it. That's, that's not beautiful. bad. There's no hair at all. Love the no. pits. That's number one so far. But she's always going to shave. She spent the money on that. Right. Love it. Yeah, go ahead. What's next? All right, let's see that. Ooh. That's, that's an accident. Lovely. That was a that. That's a burn. <laughs> oh, that's kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a middle aged woman's. I kind of see a face in this one too. Zoom out a little. Yeah, see you're up to the top left. Where? There's That's a, a tattoo. tattoo. Oh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm killing with the autist. Yeah, but who can't? All right, who's this? This is gonna be bad. That's not bad either. Yeah, this no. is just Except that. She's just yeah. late for work. That ingrow hair is fucking. Wait, go oh, on I would that love though. that. If my wife has an ingrown, I'm getting in there. Uh, <laughs> oh, I squeeze That's it right gross. up. Gross. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather have long hair. Let's go. Let's get some hair. Oh, is that one bad? Nope. It's not bad. No, these women are just We're hot the women. Same, dude. What the hell are we doing? Come on. Get a good one, Max. This is fucking, this is your dick teasing us. I mean, come on, dude. These are all nothing. shaved. These are, this is a day of not shaving. Yeah, that's all it is. What are you guys doing? What are you putting us through? the fuck is that that's me <laughs> <laughs> what does it say pits equal what six and Why ten is this fucking guy in here <laughs> all pits, pits are, are equal. equal what does it say under the thing pits of new york <laughs> women's armpits let's change the pits of new york i don't get it so there's just a chick with a shaved head <laughs> that's me that's what <laughs> that's me oh you assholes oh weird Oh my God! Let's see that. Whoa! Oh! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. It looks it looks like fucking horse shack. Uh, George at w. a Bush. clan meeting. 
Oh my God, that's fucking terrible. Looks like terrible. someone's kidnapping Rich Aronovich. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible, man. Imagine that. Trim that. Just stop, stop pube shaming. <laughs> I like that, though. No, you don't. Yeah, I like it. No, you don't. You do? No, you don't. Hot. What's hot about it? Well, because it's like you can see a little bit. It's like a trailer, a teaser. Dude, it's gross. It looks like you're fucking a caveman. I got nothing. You like it, Adam? Nope. No way. What? Trim that up. What that is Bobby? that? What does it say? Ugh. Does hair make you stare? Why is she shaving on the subway? <laughs> she's shaving a box. I'm like, no, but those lumps, she's very lumpy. <laughs> what? Who's spending money on this promotion? <laughs> who, who backed this? Who said, you know what we need? It looks like she's wearing the Mrs. Doubtfire outfit <laughs> that he has underneath that makes him look like... That's what I look like now. Shirtless. <laughs> Shirtless? Yeah. A lot to tuck in. But who's, what's, who's this sponsored by? Uh, Dove. 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 David off? Yeah. David off. Yeah, it's crazy. Women should grow hair. Yeah. It's, you know, you know what I'm it's saying? astronomical. Women, how many women don't grow their hair under the pit? I like it, a good hairy pit. I like to fucking bang it and lick it, you know, hair. I, I like need it. to get the word out. I need to get the word out about women's pubes. Um, well, guys, I got questions for you. Go ahead. I can't wait. Um, for some of you guys. That well, you headlined in the Wilbur, too, Joe, huh? What? You headlined the Wilbur. Oh, I did, yes, back how, in April. How was that? It was amazing. It was very fun. Was that your first Quite time headlining it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that Sold Reich? out. It was very exciting. Yeah, it was Blumenreich. He was out of town. That's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Taylor there? Yeah, she yeah, was the, the sweetest. Yeah, she's the best. It was just Taylor. She was so sweet. Yeah, it was really fun. It was awesome. It was like a, It was exciting. The last time I did the... Um, I headlined there because I moved over to Laugh Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Because, it, you know, it was, I was doing good there. But then I was there one weekend and it was, um, it was fucking crazy. Laugh Boston is still down by the pier? Yeah, by the yeah. pier. Anthony Jesselneck. Yeah. Wanda was there on Thursday. Anthony was there on Friday. Kevin Hart was second show on Friday. No, Anthony was on my night before me. Mm. I was the 10, the 10 o'clock show. It was like five different comedians mm. in the same venue. Yeah. It's like, I don't even know what the, what do you do? How many people, you know what I mean? Can you, yeah, move in and, yeah. And uh, was Burr was there at, before me, did 19 shows in a row. I was like, I'm out. I'll just go to a club. I can't mm. do this, you know? I felt, uh, I like Laugh Boston. I like Laugh Boston. In the hotel, you just walk right downstairs. I yeah, love the Wilbur, nice. too. The Wilbur's great. I used to stay at the W, walk right across the street. It's fucking awesome. That was the first, uh, that was where, um, um, Marlon Brando did uh, his first play. Really? He, he actually lived in the theater for a couple of weeks because he had no place to go when he was rehearsing for it. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Fun fact. So you, that's great that you finally... I mean, dude, you didn't you open for me there once? I don't know if I opened for you there. You opened I for me at so. Daniel Hall. Yes, I opened for both of you guys. Oh, no, I opened for you at Caroline's. Oh, Caroline's. And then uh, I did Gary's special at the Wilbur Theater, Gullman, the In This right. Economy. And I hope for you at yeah, Fanny Hall. Fanny Hall. I hope for you at the Improv in Irvine. That's when I first met you at Hey a Goatee. I remember making that ride yeah. from I was in Venice and I had to take that ride on a Friday. Yeah. Out to Irvine. I mean, it was you had to leave at like fucking twelve o'clock. The day before. To get out, it was a nightmare. And then getting home would suck because they'd shut. In L.A., they just shut the highway down. Yeah. I mean, just shut it down. And you're like, for what? Like, was there a... We got a sweep. What? It's it's crazy. And you get home at like three in the morning. Yeah. I remember the Irvine Empire used to fucking want to kill myself. <laughs> um, here we go. You ready? Go ahead. Joe's special. It's yes. up on... YouTube. Punchup.live. Yes. Right now. Yes. Good place to go. And you can go watch it on YouTube. The edited version's on YouTube. They didn't let us... The yellow it. version. They're both. You couldn't edit it. No, we were gonna take it down and replace it with a muted version, but we yep. would have lost all the views and stuff. So it's just up there. Oh wow, what a, it just sucks. It was frustrating. Well, you need well, you for the next time. What can you do? Punch yeah. up, punch up. Dot live. You're gonna have all that data. It's all yours, which is yeah. great. Yeah, you can sign up for my email list and get buy tickets from there. You can. Oh, you put. I'm. I'm putting my tickets up yeah, there. Yeah, your dates too. are up there. You can just go right in there. I love it. And you, and when you sell tickets, you know how many tickets you sold. Yes. You get that good. information, too. That's yeah. Instead of the club having it. That's good. Uh, your special, YouTube. Uh, YouTube. You can get it on YouTube. Uh, I, hopefully, I'll put it on Punch Up now that I know. You should. I'm going to. Yeah, get on YouTube. I'm at, uh, I'm at Uncle Vinny's um, this weekend, Friday, Saturday. 
in uh, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Point Pleasant. Love Uncle Vinny's. Uncle Vinny's is fun. I got the Levity Live coming up uh, next month. I got the... Uh, is Levity Live still open? Yeah. I heard Naya. the mall was there, like the Hasidic uh, Jews were buying that mall. Really? That's what I heard. All right, so the show will be over before sundown. I, I heard they were buying the whole mall. I Who'd you hear this from? Uh, my friend of mine who lives over there. In Nyack. Yeah, Nyack, yeah. It's still there. I mean, that whole area is all Hasidic Jews. Mm. They took over. That upstate is. That, they're taking a, they're doing upstate and they're yeah. taking over Nyack. I mean, yeah, over there, dude, there's, there's a town over there. I think it's New City or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. If you drive through it on Saturday, Saturday, they'll throw rocks at your car. Really? Why? 100%. Because you, cause it's the Sabbath. You're not supposed to dri- be driving. And it, it's, they, they, it's there. They moved in. Uh, they, they got vote. They, they ran for office, voted mm-hmm. himself in, and said, fuck it, it's our town now. Wow. And they make the rules. You can't drive, but you can throw rocks? That doesn't You can't right. drive through it because you're not supposed to drive a car. You're not supposed to go through, you know, on the Sabbath. All right. They'll throw a rock right at your car. All right. Wow. They're Crazy. Changing, they're changing the name to the Gaza Strait. <laughs> All right, we got this. Ready? This is for, uh, from Scruffy Bones. Any plans to come back to the UK, Joe? Uh, I would like to. I love the UK. I love Europe. Where'd you play in the UK? I did. First, Bananas. I did the Soho Theater. Bananas. <laughs> Bananas. Bananas East. Um, oh, fish and chips. <laughs> but the first I did the Soho Theater a few years ago, which was awesome. And then last time I did a place also in Soho, but it was more like a, a like a coffee shop kind of venue. Mm. And it was did you fucking make money? great last year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was packed out. It was great. I mean, I was there. The first time I was there for vacation, I went to Wales hiking with Sarah. And uh, the second time I went for dolphins. Um, whales. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to, you know, throw a couple, couple yuckers out there. Mm-hmm. But uh, and the other time I was there for that stupid TV, not stupid, great TV show. <laughs> Silly is what I meant. The show was awesome. Fuck Got it. Me. What was it? Um, what's the stupid TV show? It's not stupid. It's you said great. it was stupid. What's the what's the? It was show? great. Um, <laughs> it was called um, God. What the fuck's the name of the show? Great American Joke Off. Mm-hmm. What is great it? Great American Joke Off. It was on the CW. It's well, by the guys that made um, Whose Line Is It Anyways? Yeah. Well, what do you do? You have to do improv? No, you, you write jokes, and um, it was fun. It's a fun show. Everyone should check it out. It was a great show. I loved it, <laughs> and I'm grateful to be a part of it. But what do you do? It's like... Uh, they give you a topic? They give you categories. Yeah. yeah. It's like a British talk show kind of thing. Who hosts it? Dulce Sloan. From here? Yeah, yeah. It was all Who's- American comics. There was a few British comics on. Luke Monas. Is it a it, British Mark show? Newman. It's produced by British guys, and it aired here. <laughs> they had accents. Yeah. It, <laughs> and, uh, what did it, it say on the it, check? Who paid you? Great American. I mean, I don't know. Did you film it over there? We filmed it there. But, but it's AMC. shown here. Yes. Why didn't they just film it here? Because they cheaper. want to make it in America. No, it it's cheaper. cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. My Cheaper friend, to film over my there. My friend Rutledge, the guy I was on Top Gear with, is doing the Hot Wheels show on NBC. Yeah. Shooting it in the UK. It's cheaper. Yeah. Wow. It's cheaper to fly people over there. Is that show over? Are you done with that show? Top Gear, yeah. Yeah. It Are was. they going to bring it back at all? I, I doubt it. We don't, we don't own the It's originally there. from there, right? It was originally from UK. We were the American version. And that guy got in some hot trouble, right? Yeah, he, he slapped a producer, which is frowned upon. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that as soon as we're done here. Fucking Danny couldn't get that. I said, look at Danny. I wouldn't slap Danny. Don't you turn that yeah. fan around. Don't do it. Why, is he tough? No, but he's got fucking some crazy autism strength. He does? Oh, yeah, I don't me. know. You all right, Danny? <laughs> look, he gets mad. He's mad. <laughs> I'm asking if he's okay. He's I'm mad. I'm fine. I, I don't have Dead. strength, if that's what you're asking. Whoa! Nobody said that. Yeah. We said Nobody autism, said that but which you. is a real thing. You well, said... Dead. <laughs> autism strength is not a real thing. Dead. Dead. Strength is. I mean, geez. I mean, this is crazy. Is it? Uh, do, wait I, I wait a minute. So are you, do you qualify... Oh, yeah, I have the tism. I got a question for Adam. Go ahead. Pasta Champ 76. Pasta Champ 76? Adam, what is your top three favorite cars you've driven? Top three? I did a, I did 188 in a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. Wow. At what is car- that? Bring that up. What is it called? A Ferrari. It's called an F12 Berlinetta. F12 Berlinella. Yeah. Ber- Berlin- Ber- Berlin- Berlinetta. Berlinetta. Wow. At a Ferrari. Yeah. Ah. So that was one of my favorite cars. Uh, I'm having a nice time. I know. <laughs> You're in your own private Idaho. Oh, that. 
Really? That doesn't look that fast. Yeah. That's a, I think wow. top speed is a two. I think it's 226. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, but I got up to a buck 88. And um, at a buck forty, the start car it starts getting light, so you can feel this. And really? it's not like you're just driving it. I got to talk to the camera and shit. So around 187, my ass sensed a little speed wobble. And at that speed, if you go like, <laughs> you're dead. So I got to 188 last time I looked down, and I lifted. I wanted to go 200. I've never gone 200, but that I think it's a 226 mile an hour car. Don't quote me, but you, I think it is. Don't they have a fin or something you can flap down? Or that's it. You're looking at it. But isn't there a thing that will keep you on the ground? Well, all the aero and stuff is designed to do it, but you're still doing 188 miles an hour. I mean, you know, that, that, that speed. I was on That's the Autobahn with Louis in a Volvo. We did 112, Ooh. and the thing was shaking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Volvos aren't designed to do that. Is that your phone? Whose phone is that? It's not me. I'm not allowed to look at mine. I got scolded. So that one, 57 yeah. Starfire Oldsmobile, because that's the What's car. What's that? 57 Starfire Oldsmobile. I think it's outside. I don't think so. It's in here. Uh, it from inside the house. That was the car my father built. Your father? What is it? Look, what is it bringing what that, that up? 57 Starfire Olds. Oldsmobile with a J2 convertible. Bring up a convertible. Um, my father built that car when he was a kid. Then he had me, and he had no money, so he had to sell the car. Oh, my God. Yeah, so between that and Catholicism. You can I get one for 12 bucks, it says here, on eBay. Yeah, yeah that's not a real. Look at that, six that one. See that blue one? The blue one, that one? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, he built that. 12 bucks. Yeah, 57 <laughs> Starfire Rolls. And, uh, and my third that one. one right there. Is that the Grease car? No. no. Is that Grease Lightning? The one with the, the blue and the white one. There you go. Sandy. Look at that. Sandy. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty car. Isn't that beautiful? That is nice. You, you still know, have it? it? No, he sold it when I was a kid. Wow, but my father put a Continental kit on the back. That's the big tire that, on the Lincolns. Right. So he put it on the back. So, so the end of the tire to the back was like six feet. My mother took a road test in that car, parallel parked in Queens, and went knocking fucking garbage cans off the sidewalk because the car was so long. I, I got my road test, my license, in a 67 Chevy Impala four-door. Yeah? Yeah, That's it was big. a nightmare. That's big. It was huge. You parallel parked that thing? I did, had to. It was the only car. My uncle, my uncle had it. And... Uh, and that's the only car I had, so I, I did that. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah, I took him. He drove me down there, and we... Oh, I remember it took me 10 minutes to just <laughs> turn that. Uh, 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 uh. That's a beautiful car. I want to get one. Of, I think that's my next thing. I would love to get one of those old cars. Old muscle car. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it's like a cruiser. Not like... Okay. A muscle car is too much. I don't know if I want that. You like that? What's your third car? Uh, 68 390 Fastback, which is the bullet car. The movie Bullet. Oh. He knows. Great film. Yeah. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. You know when uh, Steve McQueen, the director, first came around? I thought it was Steve McQueen, the actor. Yeah. How about Steve McQueer? <laughs> oh, right? Am I good? Uh, <laughs> that's it, the green one. That's a pretty car, man. 68, 390 fastback. That's Highland Green with American Racing. How, fa- how fast does that go? It's not that fast. No? It's not that fast at all. I mean, the Ferrari is fast. I just did 114 in my Lexus going what? up to New Hampshire. That's cool. 114. What kind of Lexus do you have? I don't know. It's my wife's car. Is it SUV or a sedan? SUV. Oh, okay. Dude, we were flying. There was a guy. We were going up to the country, and <laughs> there was a guy pulled up. I passed him, and he pulled up. He was just in a shit, yeah. shit car. And he was like, yeah. And, he <laughs> us. and Max was like, go get him. So I passed him, and we just, just kept going, eh, give each other a thumbs up. <laughs> And then I just did 119. I looked down because I didn't know it was a brand new car. It's a yeah. Lexus. Uh-huh. I go, we're going 119. Max is like, yeah. <laughs> Dom was like, no. Driving to endanger with a minor in the car. That's uh, okay. Ready? Can for we get Joe. a Google on that? Joe, when are you the going? Are you going back to uh, UK for Scruffy Bones? You gonna go back? Uh, I, I want to go, but I'm having a child, so that's gonna make it tricky. But that, maybe we'll go. You yeah. know, Sarah has British citizenship. Her mother's British. Really? We might move there when it's time to go to school, so he doesn't get shot. America. <laughs> New York. Do you worry about that? No, because I live in the suburbs. I'm not an idiot that lives in Queens. No, it doesn't happen in the cities. No school shooting happens in the city. Dude, it happens in I the suburbs. In, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Not where I live. That's what everyone says mm-hmm. before it happens. No, and then I have the house in New Hampshire. If something does happen, we go up there. We're done. Yeah, you're right. Uh, the woods in New Hampshire, there's no guns there. <laughs> yeah, there's protective guns. Uh-huh. I'm talking about yeah. school shootings. <laughs> How do they go? Joe. 
Blue Balls one. What has been Joe's favorite movie of last year? Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of last year. I don't know. It's I know it's, only got a couple just of movies a year. I know it's going to be queer. No, it's not going to be queer. Not what necessarily. Is it? I know it's not going to be fun. My favorite movie so far this year, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, which is about uh, teenage girls having the, their period. Been, you're what such I mean, a... Is that your yeah, favorite? Yeah, Bloom. Yeah, it's That's Judy your Bloom. favorite movie of all year. I didn't, so far this year. I mean, there's not a lot of great movies. Will you let your son come hang with me so we can have some man shit in him? What are you talking about? There's nothing more manly than The Godfather and Goodfellas, you fucking What's the movie dork. you just said? Are you there? Are God? you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Margaret. The Judy Bloom book. The Judy Bloom. No, it's books. very well done. It is very good. Well done. Uh, um, no, last year my favorite movie was X. Did you see X? Oh, fucking dude! Rules. I love. I you love. Tri- is it Triple X with? No X. No. What's it's X? A Malcolm slasher. X. It's a slasher. They're making a porn. There's a big slasher. It's, it's tits and sex and murder. Why aren't you pulling it up? He is Ty West. I know. He's I want great. them to go faster. They never go as fast as I want. It's, it's by just, this director named Ty West. He, he's great. X. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking. What's it about? Oh, you got to watch it. It's about the. It's from the seventies. I mean, it's from last year, but it takes place in the seventies, and they're going to make a porn, an artistic porn movie, and oh, then they're like, making it in this old green door and. Deep Throat, that kind of shit? Yeah, yeah. And so um, it's a real um, tribute to these old slasher flicks. There's a lot of um, homages. Is it scary? Um, I don't know about... Sc- I never really find movies scary. It's fun and I ne- I haven't heard about this funny. movie. Oh, it's great. There's a sequel, scary. too, that also came out. It's called Why. How did that... How did that <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, how really did that, great. Yeah, they keep doing sequels until it says, you shouldn't have went to this. It's um, Thanks, Max. It's really, uh, it's it really awesome, dude. Way, and you see, and how did they come out with the secret if it just came out last year? Uh, they shot them all at the same time. How how in many Australia. sequels? There's three. It's a trilogy, and they take place in different decades. What's the the sequel is called? It's a woman's name. I forget what the hell it's called. Oh yeah, Maxine is the new one, and Pearl is the second one. So it came out in March. So it's called X. X, yeah. You Maxine, watch it. It's, you can masturbate Pearl. to it. It's fun. It's scary. I miss horror movies that you could jerk off to. Yeah, this is a. It's a total homage. What? Tribute. Mate, I'm life. not. I'm not gonna. Huh? I'm not doing that. Yeah, what is it? Uh, I'm not again? a slasher guy. How's what? it go again? Huh? Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's could very you go, good. Oh, ah. Could you do that? I've done that during what about, in my youth. Ooh, ah. Oh. But I think we'd mostly like the same movies. I don't like the action comic booky things, and you don't like the gay stuff. But in between, we're probably lined up. Yeah, that's nah. probably true. I don't like yeah. the slasher I, stuff. I do like the uh, comic book movies. I'm a big fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I do like it. But I do like the slasher movie. What was the movie where we saw uh, what's her name's tits? <laughs> the vampire movie with uh, and Rice? Melissa Milano's tits and the chick from uh, Golden Golden Child's tits. Oh, I, I I want the knife. Yeah, remember the chicken that the Indian girl with the big. Oh titties? yeah, so we let make yeah, you take her. A and, she's a vampire. Her and Melissa Milano fucking make out and suck each other's tits. Put the camera on me. I'm gonna bust your ass. The vampire. Oh my god, I jerked Embrace off my the vampire. Two in, out of five stars in my grandmother's basement in Medford, Mass. I jerked off in the basement. I'm Peter yeah. McNeely from Medford, Mass. Watch me yeah, Saturday kick too? Tyson's ass. Well, who's the, who's the, uh, the the golden child at? Rachel Crew, is that it? Who's the girl? The Jen- no, not Jennifer Tilly. Uh, which one is it? Scroll down. Which one? Let me see the cast. Where's the girl? Is it Louis? Is it that one? Where's the Indian girl? Charlotte. Is Lewis. it her? That's her. No, scroll over left. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Go, go, go. No, oh, she's, she's like Asian. Is that her? Maybe that's her. The uh, Charlotte girl. No, I don't know. Rebecca. Where was the Golden Child lady? I go to Golden Child. And whoever's in that. Are you typing both at the same time? Embrace of the Vampire, Golden Child. That's how you get it. Thank you, Joe. Cast. Now, now go back up and type in Embrace of the Vampire. If you type them both at the Sorry, same time. Sorry, people time. listening to this in your truck. <laughs> I know you're hearing some fucking asshole type and he's panicking right now. Charlotte well, yeah, that's Lewis. her. There that's you her. Go. Charlotte Lewis. Yeah. Type in boobs. Charlotte Lewis boobs. Type that in. Let's look at it. At the same time, right and left. Yeah, go. Charlotte Lewis, tits. Boobs, brace of the vampire. Watch these. Well, that pop up on Google. Boom. Yeah, sure. Boobs. Bam. Look what? at that. What? You can show tits on Google? You can. How and great you... are those? Wow. I didn't know that. That's, yeah. that's Now watch. That's going to be at that. Look at that, and then look. We'll go watch Golden Child. There's the embrace of the vampire, too. God. So sexy. What's your favorite movie? 
All right, take that off so we don't get fucking. It's doof. not on the screen. <laughs> um, what's your favorite movie of the last year? Mm, I don't remember what the hell I. What did I see last it's year? It's hard to remember what comes out what year. Yeah, and plus with everything streaming, I, I right. just saw Doctor Strange. <laughs> I like the comic book movies. Did you and, like it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did too. I liked it too. Um, okay, you ready? If society collapsed, <coughs> what's that? Bobby's been handed a note. Is it for you? If uh, if. <laughs> If society collapsed and it's just you oh, three Jesus. in the woods, right? Who do you think becomes the leader? Well, I mean, that's guys, pretty obvious. It's hundred percent. Yeah, <clears throat> we wait. We wait for Bobby to go to sleep and we kill him. You kill me, you don't eat. <laughs> if we kill you, we eat. First of all, maybe a year ago you ate good. Okay. Now you ain't eating. It's it's fucking spoiled meat. <laughs> Second of all, I'm the leader. How do you figure? Be, for, you, you, you're the leader. All you, we got to do is movie quotes, and you'll fucking hang yourself. Yeah. That's not the fuck. Like, That's your fucking dude. No, I wouldn't. Ah! I'll, fucking, no. I'll shoot you with arrows until no, you stop. Now you got arrows. We're yeah. on an island. What do we got? I'm making arrows. I'm making weapons. We're hunting. I'm hunting. You guys are berry pickers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Am I lying? We're no. not going to wait for him to go to sleep. We're going to kill him now. You're not going to no. kill me, because if you kill me, you're going to die. How do you figure? You're the survivalist? You're not this, the guy. Look, you and your wife in a tiny house ain't on She's this not there. island. They're not there. Well, but, but what makes you think you're going to survive? Adam, 100%, I'm going to fuck. Who's sitting the highest? Me. Look at I'm what a head higher than you guys. Look at the chair. Leader. Mm -hmm. Easy. You're not Good. the leader, Joe. I'm the leader. You, be, dude. As soon as you hear something in the night, you'd start shaking and running. Yeah. That's what you are gonna portray, right? But you, you're the guy who's like this. Everyone, fucking relax. Yeah, fucking cra you're the one. A leader. Know. A I'm fucking like, leader. Not a like leader. That's well, leader gonna qualities. Gonna We're going to be on a That's a leader. No. That's who I'm listening like to. Like We're going to be listening to Joe. Back. You're going to be pushing all get along. Uh, you two fucking assholes. You two fucking assholes are going to be, be, gonna be doing movie quotes when we're fucking starving. Yeah, okay. That's right. I'm going to use my movie knowledge to get us off the island. Your movie knowledge does nothing. There's nothing left. There's no electricity. Island of Dr. Moreau. I know it. There's no. He's going to walk around a white pancake. How do you start a fire? How do you start a fire? Yeah. You fucking yeah. What's that? This this. this What's is it a, called? It's called leaves. You you make you make the bow. Yeah, cast away. What bow? You make a bow. How do you make the bow? You you, you bend the laces. stick. What stick? This awards went on an island. Well, okay, you bend the stick and then do what? Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna get a little piece of string or a vine. Oh, you got string. What do I got? To, we're on this island. What I, what island are we stranded? on? Staten? Again, what fucking island are we stranded on? Manhattan? We're on Staten Island. You really think you're going to fucking survive? I'll call my cousin. You'll be dead in 20 <laughs> minutes. Your cousin's dead. It's just us three. <laughs> I'm the leader. All right, look, good. Let it's him me, be. then you, and you're the woman. We fuck you. <laughs> that doesn't... I don't want to... What's the next question? Uh, we fuck you. <laughs> What's the next question? You have a juicy bum, and I've seen it. It's dirty. It looks like Ugh. an armpit on the subway. It's not good. <laughs> Do you think you're the leader, really? I'd rather not talk about it. Do you think out of us three... Yeah, because you think the, the, the knowledge makes you the leader. But what the leader does is goes, okay, Bobby, you know how to make a fire? That's great. You make the fire. Mm -hmm. Adam, you make funny voices. <laughs> and I'll sit here and, and think the high of chair. movie. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. high chair. Yeah. I'll be like, you make the fire. That's perfect. Great. And then you and I will go hunt. Mm -hmm. and then while you Hunt come what? Up, We'll hunt fucking animals. What animal are you going to kill? What's I the guarantee island are we on? You'd hit it with a yeah, stick and then we? feel bad. Be like, oh, leave it, let it go. We'll leave flowers. No, that's not who I am. What are you, crazy? You wouldn't kill an animal. I love killing animals. What? I'd what? do it for fun. What? Yeah, I fuck them. Like, what? I fuck them. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. Next question. No, it is. Uh, Big leave. Bird 79. How much new material does Joe have now that his specials drop? I got a bunch. I'm doing a whole new thing. It's not. Great. Really? It's how not you, great. What do you, it's how not, do you come up with so much shit? Dude? It's not. You um, came up with a special a year ago. You got another special. You've done three specials in two years. <laughs> in three years. Good. Three and a half years. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm touring with different stuff, but it's a, it's a mess. But um, it was supposed to be a mess. Yeah, it's a bit messy. So you just go out mess. on a tour and bomb? No. Well, it's not a tour. It's like regular. That, that's the new thing. We've talked about this before. Everyone's like, I'm going on tour. It's the fucking. Milk a cow tour, mm -hmm. but, but we are, what we always just called working. I'm yeah, just yeah, working. Know, yeah, but now it's the way you market it, and that's smart. It makes sense, and you have your posters or whatever. But I'm always working, and then uh, and also I'm I'm in clubs, so it's not like 
But it, when it's you not go like on I'm doing the, a stadium you, and being like, oh, is this funny? When you go on the road this weekend, you go to a club or you go to a theater, are you going to do all the new stuff or are you going to do some of the old stuff? I do an all new. All new. All new. Yeah. But it's that's um, annoying. Yeah. But it's. I'll mix it up. That's we'll take, annoying. Take I mean, that's crazy. It's. Um, it all works that good that you get paid that much money and the crowd's not going to walk away and go, well, that was our. What the fuck? No, the crowd leaves very happy. I just did Cubs. Everyone was very happy. Really? It was great. Um, yeah. And so and I say, you know, I got a lot of new. And some of it, I got to, I'm going to, some of this is, is this funny? And then you make it fun. And then you have some save lines, of course, that get laughed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you go, well, that was crazy. I don't know why I thought that was, blah, blah, blah. And then you get some laughs that way. But some of it's good. Do you get your jokes from your podcast? No, but this is funny. I was just telling the story. So on the podcast one time, I was like, hey, if you hear something that could be a bit, email us and say, hey, this could be a bit. Because sometimes, you, you know, you, know how you don't you, know. You tell a story and then people are like, you should do that as a bit. And you're like, I never even thought of that. And then a bunch of people have misinterpreted it as, hey, here's an idea for a bit. And then they just send me their ideas for bits. <laughs> and I have to write, don't send me bits. Because uh-huh. if I ever have something even similar, I'm going to have a guy going, I wrote that. Yeah. Here's the email. And I'm like, I don't want your bits. Mm-hmm. What if, it'd be funny if you got taken out as a hack from fans. Yeah, they're just like, we've been sending these to him. Yeah, but these, these are all our bits. Got to make them <laughs> sign a release before they email you. But you always have... Right. Premises and stuff, and then yeah. you just fuck around with them. Yeah, dude, I can't. I, I, I don't know. I gotta go out. I gotta have, st- like, stuff in there. What from before? You know, I got maybe thirty minutes of new stuff, and then the rest, I don't. Yeah, I gotta fill it. Sometimes I just try to fuck around and do some stuff. But do you go on with it? You go out out with an idea, or do you you go out with it written yeah, sometimes. out? Sometimes, but you know, I usually stuff happens to me, and I go. Up I write on it. stage. Yeah, I write on stage, take, too. Take the stuff we write on stage, listen to the tape, and just keep working it over and over again. Yeah. yeah. But the three, same. I mean, Jesus, three specials in three years is pretty it's, epic. It's pretty good. Oh, pretty yeah. epic, dude. Thanks. With a the pandemic. And it's, not, and it's not like shitty specials. It's not like they're all fucking no. great. No, I think they're good. I already said dead. I did say dead. That was, bad. That was a mistake. You, of course, yours is amazing. I've always loved you. I've uh, always loved your, your style of comedy. And you're not even... But I like what you do, dude. You're not, you're not like... Dirty. You could easily go down that path with your because me and you do the same type of thing. Yeah, we we act out the stuff and you know what I mean. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe I clean my stuff up a little bit. I said that. Last, do that. I said that last time. I was like, I gotta do some corporate. I want to make money. I'm gonna go clean the corporate. And then stuff's... you just go natural. And then the first joke I came up with was about shitting on a my mother or something. You shit on your mother? No, but you really? know what I mean. You're just like, like I'm gonna try re- clean, and then you're like, yeah, having sex. Is with your there wife, an occasion? Or like just. <laughs> Her birthday or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you yeah. go. You got to write who you are. You got to yeah. write what you want. Yeah. I will I tell you this: when I when I go back and look at it, I I say fuck way too much when a bit's new because I don't know what it yeah, is. So yeah. There's more cursing when it's new, and now I'm trying to not do that because I don't want to get that. Once that welds in, you're like, ah, I need I that. I say word. fuck. I know that. Happens. I know. Yeah, me too. I was looking at. I was looking at a new bit. I'm like, why am I? I was at the underground. There's a couple of jokes that I do up front now that I don't swear. Yeah. And they're not really dirty. And you get laughs, and it makes me happy because I'm like, ooh. Yeah. They're laughing at stuff I didn't think they would laugh at. You know what I mean? It's... And then I slowly slip and I drip into fucking disgusting shit. Yeah, but you, yeah. If, if if you don't put it in in the beginning when it's still forming, yeah, it I, it doesn't get welded in. So, well, I gotta. I haven't done comedy in I don't know a month or so. I, I didn't do that saw, much comedy. I this just saw that. Uh, when you the stir fry bit that I love. When the coconut oil. Oh, well, right now when you were down at the uh, in the. Oh, I just did it. I haven't been on stage in weeks. Oh, that was the first time. Why? Well, you well you were up at the at the house oh, being yeah. the leader. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I get. I I love. Right away, I right love away. What? On an island, Dawn's gonna run everything. Dawn's yeah. not there. You're not hearing the uh, question. It's you, me, and him. Yeah, you're gonna be lost without Dawn. I'm not gonna be lost. You're gonna be all sad. You're like, dude, no. they you fucking what? tried texting me. I'm I might get like, some focus. sleep without that snoring gorilla. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, does she snore, your wife? No, she's snoring now because she's pregnant. But not- but she's chubbier. Yeah, I guess so. Could yeah. be the baby. It's all baby, by the way. She looks thin. She's like fit. Yeah. And just has a big like an aborigine. Boobs get big yet? Um, uh, bigger. They're not like crazy. Yeah, is she gonna breastfeed? I think so. Try the milk. I've tried. We had it on this podcast. I know. <laughs> we had good, uh, right? bees milk. 
Um, well, listen, man, we're going to wrap this up. But right. uh, Joe, I love you, buddy. Congratulations. I hope next Thanks. time you're on the podcast, it's after your uh, kid. Yeah, next you know what, dude? I'll have a son. Will you come? Will you come on and talk about? Uh, being a dad, I want to. Sure. I want to fucking hear about that. Dad. I'll be like, yeah, dude, it's fucking good. Uh, I can't wait you to don't you know call what it's me. Like. I can't wait to call me up, dude. Do you gotta swaddle him, <laughs> dude? The doula called me a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait. My doula has stuttered. It was the worst. You had a stuttering. She was like, doula? you guys got to. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Don went, oh my. Don went, ha, huh? like that. Just came out. She went, ha. Uh, do, do, do you love me? Um, do you love Adam, me? Yes, I love you, buddy. What do you get to you plug, too, buddy? Uh, I want to plug the dates. I got Uncle Vinny's. I got, uh, like I said, Levity. I got uh, the Mohegan Sun, uh, Chicago Improv. I got a bunch of tour dates. So uh, go to adamfarrar.com and come see me on the road. My podcast, the Adam Farrar Podcast, 30 Minutes You Never Get Back. I want Joe List to come back as well as you. Yeah, what is it? Do I got to go out to California to do it? No, I'll Zoom you in. I'll do California. Come to California. I got the studios nice. Come All right, great. Yeah, I'll do that. And Joe, what do you got besides the new uh, special? Uh, Mindful Metal Jacket podcast is back. It's back. You Good. guys have both been on it. Did you do it? Never been asked. <sighs> no, you've been asked. Never been asked. I've never been asked. Really? You've never asked me. Are you sure you didn't do it during pandemic? You've. Ne I mean, dude, you never asked me. You might have done it during pandemic. You've never asked me. That might be so. I don't want to bother you, I guess. No, that's not it. You're intimidating. How, why am I intimidating? I'm one of your best friends. Yeah, but you're intimidating. You're scary. How? You're the leader, okay? Okay, I'm in. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. I'm the leader. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's back. It's great. It's a fun show. And uh, listen to that. Enough for everybody. October 5th through the 7th, I'm at Helium in Philly. That's a big weekend, the last weekend before the baby. And uh, it's a big, fun market, so... I, wanna, I just want to go clean down there. I want to sell it all. Good for you. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm, I'm at the National Auto Museum in Reno, October 25th and 26th. Okay. So I'm playing the Auto Museum. Stand up. They got, a, they, got, they got a venue, and they put up a stage, and car guys are coming out. Nice. And you heard it here first. I'm doing Comics Come Home thanks to these two guys. That's right. Next year, he's got to be. I wish you get on this year. Yeah. Just slip them on. November? Call Dennis. Tell him about it. I'll tell him, too. Get up. I'm going to call Jack. You call Dennis. All right. I'll I'm going to see Jack sun. next week. I'm coming home. Um, go to robertkellylive.com for all my dates. Uh, I'm everywhere. I'm Rutherford, New Jersey, at Las Vegas at Skankfest, Rochester, New York. I'm in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, Kansas City, Boston, Mass., Asbury oh. Park, Portsmouth. Uh, ba I'm everywhere. Baltimore. But uh, make sure you go to robertkellylive.com. Go to punchup.live and get my special. Just go over there and watch it. And uh, you can get my dates. Everything's over there. Punchup.live. Punchup.live. His special's there. My special's there. I'm going to put mine there. Uh, Adams is going to be I'm there. Gonna be there. It's a brand new platform that's rocking the fuck comedy world. Go to comicworlds.com and get all the YKWD shirts, the reg shirts up there. You got YKWD. You got YKWD Skankfest. We got hoodies. All kinds of stuff up there. Go there. Get your hat. You get Fat Bobby shirt. Guys, what do you got? You can follow me, uh, Max Marcus Comedy, on all social media. You can check out The Cheese Show on YouTube by just searching The Cheese Show. And you can follow me on uh, Instagram at Danny Braff. All right, man. We'll see you guys next week on the podcast. You know what, dude? Don't Bye. You've been listening to the YKWD Podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.